Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be taking all 106 Old World regions in the Medieval 2 Grand Campaign in just 7 turns. The rules are simple, we're using the vanilla game, very hard very hard difficulty, no console commands or cheats are allowed, saving and reloading is allowed as much as necessary, and all bugs and exploits are fair game. Some brief history behind this record, I first became aware of what was known as the Blitz, when I watched a video series by Legend of Total War in January of 2013, in which he conquered the entire map in 14 turns. It changed the way I thought of the game and how I played. Fast forward to January of 2015 and I started my own Blitz campaign, aiming to beat his record using many of the tactics that I had learned. I succeeded, but during the time that I was working on the campaign, I made the mistake of messaging him on Steam, letting him know that I was well on my way to toppling his record. He then began working on his own campaign known as the Second Blitz. I set the mark on January 27th, 2015 at 11.59pm at 11 turns, but held it for less than 7 hours before Legend completed his own new campaign, setting the record at 8 turns. He proclaimed that record unbeatable, although I believe there to be a chance that it was. Unfortunately, campaigns like these take a lot of time and effort, things that are not worth putting in if there's no certainty that it will be rewarded with a new record. Years passed and I got busy with other things. I quit doing YouTube, finished high school, moved across the country, graduated college and started a career. But some things didn't change, and among those my love for this game and my desire to one day return and reclaim the record. Eventually I became aware of a new exploit that was changing the Medieval 2 community known as the Diplomacy Bug, which utilized integer overflow to trick the AI players into accepting dreadful diplomacy deals. I saw its potential and that was enough to bring me back to make a second run at the title. That's how I arrived here on January 27th, 2024, exactly 9 years to the day since I last claimed the record for me to present my latest, and probably final, although we'll see, Blitz campaign in which I defeat Legend of Total War's long-standing Blitz record and conquer the entire map in 7 turns. Alright, let's get this started. Like I said, we're doing very hard, very hard difficulty. These are the other settings we're doing. We're going to be doing a long campaign, although that doesn't really matter because we're going to be taking all of them anyways. Instead of, ta instead of playing the Turks, as we usually do for a Blitz campaign, we're actually going to choose Venice. That's because we're going to have a little bit more of the diplomacy focus. We're going to focus the diplomacy bug. Now, a lot of the conventional wisdom behind blitzing campaigns is usually to go with an Islamic faction so that you can do a jihad from turn one. You don't have to worry about papal excommunication missions, but we're going to be working around those. I know there's limitations, but Venice has better access to other factions early on, so we can talk to more of them with, with diplomats. They have good sea access, so when we're looking at transporting troops with the boat movement glitch, Venice is very well positioned to do that from the start. And they also can talk to the Pope on turn two. So we'll call a crusade... We'll call a crusade on turn two. It won't be quite as fast, but we will be able to make it for lost time, I promise. With that said, let's jump right into it. One final thing before we start, I mentioned earlier that saving and reloading is allowed. I'm doing a lot of that throughout. So this massive video that you're seeing is just a fraction of the time that I actually put into strategizing, planning moves out, testing things, and replaying difficult portions of the campaign. So you will see a very obvious transition whenever that happens. I'm not trying to hide anything. I'm not trying to gloss over anything. But that will happen quite a lot throughout the campaign. Um, and rest assured, everything is fully reproducible. So I will include every movement that is important throughout the campaign. And I'll try to explain as much as, what I, as, much of, as, much of what I'm doing as possible. Um, but just know that there will be a lot of cuts. And I will make them obvious when that happens. That said, let's get started. Our first move is going to start with our Diplomat, we're going to use this guy a lot, we're going to move him over this way, and we're going to talk to the Milanese Diplomat, Frolio Carcano. Future Cosmic jumping in here to say two things. First, this is what those transitions are going to look like, and second, that the first turn here, I recorded the audio in mono tracks, which means that the game sound is not going to be as high as you'd want, and the speaking audio is not going to be as clear as you want, that'll all be fixed on turn two. So it will get better. Now, this is essentially how the overflow bug works again this is a very rudimentary explanation but the idea is that we are essentially offering a deal that's so bad the computer programming uh, takes all the way around the circle back to the beginning and thinks that it's a very good deal for them so the first thing we're going to have to do is we have to look at their wealth status here uh, they are currently meager so we need to get that up to very poor in order for them to be even be able to physically accept this so we're going to start by offering them a single payment of 2,000 florins we're going to offer that as a gift. Now they are very poor, which for some reason is is more is, is more better than meager. So now we're primed to do our deal. We're going to go to make offer. We're going to request from them regular tribute. We're going to go up to 2,002 Florence per turn. And we're going to max out the amount of turns. They go on for basically forever. 
Um, and you can get a little bit more Florence out of this if we'd given them more to begin with, but we're going to be eliminating Milan pretty fast, and so it doesn't really matter that they give us a really good tribute. But from some of these, some of these other factions, they're going to be giving us tribute for a very long time, or not a very long time, but a couple turns at least. Um, so we might, with some factions, will actually mess with that a little bit more. But with Milan, this is the deal we want. So we're going to offer them, that to them, and then in exchange, all we're offering is map information, and they think that's very generous. But we're not done there, because we're also going to ask that they give us Genoa. They still think this is very generous. This, again, is the computer being bugged out, thinking that this is a great deal because it's so freaking bad. Uh, so we're going to make the offer, and they accept that. <laughs> so that's huge. Um, we just wait here. This is uh, this screen always shows up whenever you get a set element off of the AI because their 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 army is retreating and it's doing it in slow motion in the back back screen. So that's done. But we've got a couple more things to do with old Frolio. First, we're going to make him an offer. We're going to offer trade rights, which they think is generous, and we're going to use that to get a little bit of money back out of them. We're going to do trade rights for a thousand florins, which they, which they think is balanced. We're going to do this. They just accept it. But then we're going to make offer, and with those thousand florins, we're going to bribe, and then we get him for twelve eighty florins. So that's perfect. Um, for some reason, this one does this deal doesn't always happen. Maybe it's like a fifty fifty kind of chance. So I loaded, I, I saved and reloaded right before doing the uh, this diplomacy, and uh, had to reload it once in order to make that happen. So it's a little bit finicky, but this this is possible. And now what that means. We're going to save that again. Um, and now we're going to take Frolio and we're going to do the same thing to HRE. So we're going to go to Bologna and we are going to offer them actually 4,000 florins in order to get them into, the, into a financially sound position. So now they are very poor. And then we're going to make another offer. And this is where we're going to lay down the hammer. And we're going to ask of them 3,000 florins because we actually will wait a few more turns before we eliminate them. So we want to make sure we're getting a good deal on this. We're going to do that from map information. Very generous. And then this is why I want to start next to HRE because they have five settlements they can give away. And they're going to give them all to me for free. So we're going to do that. Very generous. And we got it. So that's fantastic. Um, and it's going to take several seconds for all of HRE's armies to back away from their settlements. But when the dust settles, we have all of HRE's settlements except for their capital, Frankfurt. So, this is how it's going to be with most factions, is that we're going to be able to take all of their settlements off of them. Their, their factions can be crippled and broke. Um, and then all we will need to do is get their last settlement, their capital off of them. So the name of this game is going to be getting rebel settlements and it's going to be getting capitals. Um, we're going to try everything we can to not have to fight battles for non-capital settlements of any faction. So the challenge is, and like I said, the record, the current record is eight turns. We need to be able to get seven turns. So the challenging areas that we've identified we're going to need to be able to get an army to Bulgar. We're going to be able to get an army to Arguin. And Jetta is also probably a close close third on that. And then some of these just inland regions that are very close, very far away from the coast. Because we can get armies anywhere that has a coast very fast using the movement bugs. Um, so we just need to plan ahead in advance to get to those inland regions. Um, and I've got a plan to get us there and do it in seven. So um, what is next? Okay, so that is an example of a, another reload thing that I'm going to be doing throughout this campaign. And so if you see a weird cut or you see something pick up, I'm not always going to announce them every time, but if you see a weird cut or you feel like something's being spliced together, that's probably because it is, and I'm in between, I'm going back and reloading something. Um, and I usually try to explain why, so uh, don't uh, assume that I'm, I'm cheating or anything like that. This is just the nature of Blitz campaigns, that there's a lot of saving, reloading, um, and resetting the probability of chances. So what I was actually just doing right there is redoing that diplomacy deal with HRE a couple of times until we got the units in the cities that they gave us that we wanted. So I, I didn't actually realize this until I was prepping for this, but there's actually a pretty substantial degree of random chance in that. Uh, with the cities, it's always giving us these mercenary crossbowmen. 
Um, I think that's just because, uh, for whatever reason, it's not getting the Italian militia. Um, Milan gave us six units of uh, very good spearmen, so that was great when we got Genoa. Um, but these castles actually were resetting a lot, and I'd noticed that they'd actually given us four units of infantry at Stalfin. Uh, so I had to reset in order to get these units, which are going to make the next uh, stage for them uh, much, much better. Um, and Innsbruck actually gave us four units of cavalry. So this is a perfect result. This is exactly what we need. We need lots of cavalry in order to make this happen. Um, but that's one of the other... I mean, there's... <laughs> This is part of what makes the diplomacy thing so broken. It's not only that we're getting these settlements, not only are they giving us tribute, but we're also getting all the income from all these settlements right off the bat in this first turn, especially since we're not in the crusade. That's kind of important. But we're also getting free units on top of that. Uh, so this is going to be very, very, very helpful. Okay, uh, let's start with Stalfin then. Um, we are going to quick save, and we are going to lead off by moving this guy down here. We're going to station him on this hex. We're going to be siege here. Um, and then everybody else is going to be going over to this hex. This is the old forced drought trick. Uh, forced sally out, excuse me. Um, because they're going to sally out based on the belief that this guy is the only one attacking the castle. Um, but this guy's actually going to be reinforcements. And we can take that down. Um, the units from Innsbruck, four units of beautiful cavalry, are going to be making their way towards Milan. Um, we are going to move Doge Domenico over here because next turn we will strike and take down Milan. Um, Guido is going to head back this way. Uh, we're going to put him on his boats at Venice next turn. Uh, Admiral Paolo is going to move down towards Ragusa. We can't use him just yet, but we will next turn. Um, let's see. Uh... And then, um, uh, what else needs to happen? Okay, oh, we need to go to Eric Leon. Um, these guys are going to get in these boats here. They get dropped off at Rhodes. Frustratingly, Rhodes, there's no options. I've tested this out. There's no way to get a um, forced sally out with this guy because he's too strong and this garrison is too weak. So we're going to do a good old-fashioned siege. Um, and we're going to do it with that one ram there, um, and we'll get some additional mercenaries next turn. Um, okay, now, next couple moves. Um, we are going to need to get this general and this unit of peasant archers. We're going to need to get them out of the settlement. We're going to recruit, oh, expensive mercenary boat. Um, put them in the boat. Move them over to Durazzo. The general is going to stand here because he is... Uh, weighted too heavily in order to get a forced sally out however this guy is not he's very weak and we're going to be able to do that uh, and that's going to be a forced sally out all right uh now counselor bartolomeo 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 uh he is going to get a forced draw at zagreb and then the rest of his army is going to go stand on the coast and wait for him uh, this guy is really not going to be used. Um, I guess the merchant can be used. We'll send him off to the gold. He might get a turn or two on that. Um, okay. So, um, let me see. What else do we need to do? Okay. Oh, yes. Very important. Forleo, uh, Forleo Carcano needs to head this way to meet up with the papacy. And the papacy is going to put their diplomat right about here, which is just out of his turn of turns movements so we're going to need to build roads so that he can move a little bit farther next turn um, we are also going to want to build a town hall because we need more diplomats we want to have it somewhere close to the coast choose between either genoa or venice um, i'm going to go with genoa um, but as you can see we're out of money so we're gonna have to start destroying our own towns um, we're gonna start with these inland provinces which we don't need don't need uh don't need those things in Bologna. We're just as long as we get those roads. That's the only thing it really needs to do for us. Um, Innsbruck, we can kill this boy here. I'm not going to be training any um, archers from there. Um, although I do want to be able to train a unit of peasants if I can. Um, we're going to kill the Town Watch in Nuremberg. We're going to kill the Grain Exchange and the Town Watch in Vienna. I'm not going to need those. Um, Raguza, we can kill the Mustering Hall, the Port. 
we need to be able to do recruit three units of cavalry there. That's important for next turn. Um, uh, we need to be able to get this town hall. Still can't get to that. Okay, what else can we kill? All right. Grain exchange of Venice is gone. Town guard, Venice is gone. Um, build the town hall. We're going to recruit the... Okay, all right, well, we'll, we'll survive in Innsbruck without that. I don't think that the Holy Roman Empire was going to attack us. Um, and same thing here. So we still can't recruit, and that usually happens when you're given a new settlement. Um, so that's okay right there. Um, uh, we're going to um, go to very high tax rate in all these cities. We'll sort out any public order issues next turn, but for this first turn before the crusade starts, it's really important that we get as much money as possible. After next turn, we should be pretty well set on money, um, but for the moment, we're going to jack them all up. Um, and then let's see, is there anywhere we can recruit or need to recruit more units that we haven't already? Let's get one of you there. Um, and I think that's about it. On to the end turn of turn one it is. All right, this is the army we're up against. I tried this once, had a weird glitch with one of my units getting stuck on the edge of the map, um, but I think that this should be a relatively easy battle. Okay, first order of business, get you out of there. Okay, let's make sure everyone gets in. Okay, everyone made it in this time. Okay, that's great. Yeah, last time one of these units was just stuck here and not helping with the whole battle, which was really painful. Okay, so here's the goal. We put the archers up here. Put one of the cavalry right here. One of the cavalry right there. This guy just gets up the hill any way he can. Oh, this is great. This is fantastic. Okay. All right, and then start firing. Oh, okay, they got caught. Oh, well, all right. Let's try and go that way, see if we can preserve the archer's angle a little bit. But I think they've got to go that way to get down the hill. Which is okay, because I think that, that means that they, the cavalry can't charge up this hill and hit the... Um, Hit the archers. Oops, I'm going to shoot that back unit. Excellent. Don't like that you're taking the full brunt of that. Let's try and focus in a little bit more. Push through, push through. Okay, that one unit. Okay, that unit's routing. Let's, yeah, they'll be back though. There's still enough of them. Okay, let's have you stop. You're firing into our own people. Let's move in here. Let's kill the general. He's wavering, so we really don't want to let him get away. Great, great, get him, get him. Got him. All right, great. This is good. All right, now we're going to go to the second unit. Can we get the second unit? Stop firing again. Okay, that unit's right too. Okay, all right. 
Now it's just the infantry. This should be easy. Okay. We want to watch out in our general. He's taking quite a beating. Um, but I don't think that we'll have any issues. Even if we do end up losing him, shouldn't be an issue. <clears throat> okay. Just want to keep him close for morale. Okay, so we got some crossbows. We want to hit them. Try a good old-fashioned horse sandwich. Oh, great. Okay, we got a route there. And then we'll put the general on cleanup duty. Oh, that's not a great charge either. Oh, whoa, whoa, get out of there, get out of there. Wow, okay, all right. Yeah, okay, that was predictable in that circumstance. Not good. Good charge. Okay, they're routing. Okay, we got some wavering, some wavering. Okay, they're routing. Oh, shoot, wrong unit. Shoot. Oh, no, 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 that was bad. If they come back, I think we can win it. If they don't, we're in trouble. Oh, they did. Okay, great. So they're pursuing that way, which hopefully... Nope. Oh, they're turning around. Nope. Can we get them? Come on. Oh, good. Yes, we got them. Okay. Just got some crossbow militia over here. We can clean up on that. Oh, crossbow and crossbow. Beautiful. We just got that one unit of spearmen back there at the back. So we'll wait to wait to take them on together. Okay, let's see if we can get this. I got everyone else routing. I'm wor worried that these guys are going to turn around. Please don't turn around, turn around. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, that's everyone, right? Oh, it's the stupid cavalry at the beginning. Okay, so we got to go chase after them. Okay, so we're going to have to make the cavalry route. This is going to be a little tricky. We should be able to do this just as long as no one turns around. Please, no one turn around. Yeah, we got three and five. Come on. There we go. One and two. Great. All right. Let's just mop up on these. Give our cavalry some extra experience because they'll have a long road ahead of them most likely. Infantry. Alright, 
that's good enough. Cowboys coming back. Don't want to mess with that. Okay. Excellent. All right, we're going to sack Burn. And now we've got Zagreb. All right, this one is going to come down to... Actually, I'm just going to try to be a little more organized about my saves. Okay, this one's going to come down to a simple run him out to the corner trick. Oh, okay, it's dark. All right, so we've been having a bit of an issue with the army getting stuck and that they don't seem to want to leave the town which is kind of important so we're going to see if we can hit this one unit that's off all by itself and um, maybe that will force them to move a little bit Getting any good charges in here, huh? Oh, they're still standing there. I don't like that. Let's draw you guys out a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. I finally got them to move. Yeah, this is good. Okay, now the trick becomes drawing them out as far away from the town as we can. Captain is in that archer militia unit. might time lapse this one just because it's going to take a little while to do what we need to do but we're going to have to draw them out to the corner and then we're going to go over and around and then we're going to come back and take the sound square Yeah, this hill is definitely going to tire them out pretty pretty nicely. And then I hope that we can run around them. 
Oh, shoot. <laughs> Gotta go this way. Okay, that complicates things a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. clean okay but they've left the town square undefended and we'll see if we can get there and hold it off I think that should be good enough we shall see Tight, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. They're starting to move real slow. They're exhausted. Yeah, we should have this. Yeah, no problem. Got it. All right. All right. All right. A little trickier than it should have been, but we made it work. Okay, that's gonna be an occupy. Right, and then we've got Durazzo. This one should be significantly easier. Well, we'll see actually, because the they may come tear our poor archers to shreds. Get you up, get out of there, get out of there. As fast as you can. We're just dealing with some light infantry and one unit of archers. Archers are the captain unit. So this should be pretty easy. The general should be able to deal with them pretty handily. Alright, we got the archers off on that side, so let's try and shift it a little bit. Trying to strike them on their corner. They're in skirmish mode, so they shouldn't have any problem with the infantry. And then let's see if we can get that capped in. Yeah, that should be good. Charge, 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 charge. Ooh. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay, they didn't break. That's interesting. They, they will second time around. There he is. Let's hit this group. Can we get a beautiful volley of missiles? And then they're going to get charged. Okay, excellent. The old 1 2 combo. them please get a volley okay okay that should do it for them maybe not okay one more round Oh, now they're going. Okay. All right. The enemy are badly flattered. I'm going to hit them one more time. And we're done. Our enemy has lost the stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. I'm just going to mop up for some XP. Too slow, wow. Oh, maybe not. Oh, wow, okay. 
Beautiful. All right. Four men lost. And then we're going to save right here. And that's going to enable us to get the exact adoption candidate we need. And then we're going to occupy. As a matter of fact, that's actually the exact one we need. All right. Councilor Bartolomeo. Okay, so we need to come back for him. He is currently in Zagreb, and he can't be in Zagreb. Okay, um, I'm going to well, we'll put that aside for a second. We'll look at these messages. Um, Florence for 2,500. That's not great. So we might see if we can get a new mission. We might reset some things. We'll see. That's a given. That's a given. That's a given. We're at 12 regions at the start of turn 12. Pretty darn good. Um, we're th three out of those. Um, what? Is it just me or is it not usually say, it usually says the name of the new kid, not the general. Anyway, okay. Uh, I'm going to strategize and we will figure out what we're going to do with this. All right, so we are back. Um, we have this adoption candidate, which is great. Um, is a drill master. We also changed the missions that now rewards us with units, which we're going to get hopefully in the form of mailed knights. At least that's what I got in the test. It's a lot better than the 2,500 florins, um, and we will be able to take Florence on the end turn of this turn. Uh, but the next move we need to make uh, before we accept the adoption candidate is we need to go talk to papal states, and this has been very very finicky. Um, it's given me so much of a headache. I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to get the deals on this go around, but we'll go back and reload if we can't. Um, so the first thing we need to do, and this is super finicky because <clears throat> I need to give them 5,000 florins, but some of the tests I've done have indicated that uh, I need to do it this way, and I'll explain why in a second. So I'm going to do two separate deals. And then um, we're going to offer the that transaction. All right, and then we're going to bribe the diplomat, and then they're going to say yes. That's great. All right. Now here's the problem. We don't have the papal favor to call Christian in Cairo, so we're going to need to back up. Wait on the candidate. We're going to do a quick save here. Uh, we're going to do four thousand florins, and then before asking for the next thousand, we're going to go ahead and offer the deal, even though they won't be able to take it because they don't have the money yet. But, however. So I believe that by doing that, they've actually decided they like me more. They think that I'm just that generous of a guy. So we're going to offer them another thousand floors on top of that. We're going to go back to the well. Do this. And then I'm going to bribe the diplomat. Alright. And now we have eight crosses instead of seven and that's gonna allow us to call the crusade so that's it's taking me way longer than i care to admit to get that correct combination um and to figure out what i needed to do in order to do that um so now we got the cur the crusade called and uh i know that um doing this with the catholic faction can be a little bit intimidating but the hope is that we're going to be able to eliminate each catholic faction in a single turn um, and so we won't have to deal with uh, papal excommunication missions. Um, that said, if we ever do have that problem, we can always just go back to the Pope, offer the, the broken exploit deal, and request rec a reconciliation. So it will, we won't have any downtime from our, our armies that need to stay on crusade. Uh, so we will want to have a diplomat hanging around, around Rome. Okay, so now that we've got the crusade going, uh, let's start 
with these armies over here because I need a place to adoption can and need this guy to leave our territory. No. Actually, no, I don't. Okay, we just... Yeah, okay. So here's the deal. So this guy has the trait energetic, which is actually better than Joel Master. Um, so we're going to accept the candidate. He's going to go st straight to Zagreb. So now him with his 10% movement, or 15% movement. Okay, uh, we're at 15%. Two 15% movements. This army is the one that's going to be going all the way to Arguin. And this continues to be, as far as I'm aware, the limiting factor for this type of Blitz campaign. So... Uh, I have done a number of a number of tests with a lot of different factions. I don't think that it's possible to get six turns, um, get to Arguin in six turns, I, I, even with a maxed out general. Sicily has a general. King Roger has a, a, like a written new drill master, which is plus twenty five percent. So I've tried using that with an additional ten percent understands logistics trait. Um, I've tried using the Turks as usual. It's, it's just, I don't think it's possible. Um, and so I think that the seven turns will be, will be the, the, the last time of breaking this record, unless some new exploits are discovered, which is always the case. So, um, but based on current information, I think the seven turns is the max. Anyway, all right, I'll have to say, what we're going to do is we're gonna get some of these armies on crusade. So first, we're start with Alessandro, bring him over to stand here. Entire army at Ragusa is going to come with him. Join this crusade. Get those two units. Um, and then don't think we'll need that yet, so we'll hold off because we may need that later. Um, but we're going to first send this one unit of mounted sergeants up to there. And I'll explain that in a second. Everybody else is getting on these boats. We're going to bring in yes. these guys to join them. And we're going to trigger the unlimited boat movement glitch. Alright, now... I'm just, you're just going to stay there for a second. And we're going to move two units up to here. These guys down here. Get that unit too, and then we'll join the crusade. Um, and then we're gonna go in here. These guys already have the unlimited boat movement. So we're gonna go through here. I think there's a navy we gotta avoid right there. Yep. And I've learned something about the boat movement glitch, and that is that you maybe I knew this before, maybe I just forgot. But you only need to leave one boat here, even though you need two to trigger it. Either one of these guys can actually be taken out, leaving the army with the fleet there. So what that means is we can rescue this guy, bring him back to here. This guy is going to head to where I think is the farthest spot where we need to get started the most, and that is up near Russia. So we're going to go all the way around here. Quick save in case we run into any Portuguese docks or navies. This is as far as we go today, my lord. Dropping anchor until morning. This is as far as we go today, my lord. We shall continue tomorrow, my lord. Dropping anchor until morning. Dropping anchor until morning. All the way around. This is as far as we go today, my lord. There we go. And then once more, we're going to steal one of these navies back. Leaving the army there for next turn. Yes. Okay, watch out for that navy. Yes, my lord. Trotting course now, my lord. That navy. Yes, my lord. Those docks. Yes, my lord. Full sail. That dock. Full that sail. dock. Yes, my lord. I think we'll basically Trotting clear the rest now, of the way. Yes, my lord. Trotting course now, my lord. Yes, my lord. Okay. Now that we've got those two armies sorted out, boats still have some things to do. So we're going to come over here. 
And we are going to use our new diplomat, Talentus. And we're going to take him to where he needs to go next turn. Which is he needs to go talk to the Byzantines. So we're going to take him there. We're going to leave him. And then we're going to take these two boats back. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. So the next thing these boats all need to do oops, is they need to come over here, pick up our new friend Talentus. We're going to take him to where he's going to need to be next turn, which is he needs to go to Constantinople and get the Byzantines to hand over their entire empire. So we'll leave him there, bring these boats back. And go right here, pick up Guido, our original OG diplomat. And he, his mission, is to go speak to the French and get them to hand over their entire empire. So next turn we'll get all of Byzantium and all of France. Um, let's replant you right there. And I might need this boat later, we will see. We'll worry about that later. Alright, so the next thing that needs to be sorted out is roads. So, we come over here, and we actually need to do a little bit of a trick first, because this guy is not even able to recruit enough mercenaries to join the crusade. But, if we send him across the channel here to Smyrna, pick up a guild of cavalry over there, and then we'll come back. Um, and we will... Alright, so, next thing we're going to do is roads. So we're going to come over here. This guy does not actually have enough mercenaries to join the crusade, so we're going to need to do a little trick. Step the boat forward. And then we're going to drop him right there. Pick up a unit of cavalry. Get back in the boats. And then rejoin the army. Then we're going to recruit these guys. Join the crusade. And then we're going to go fight this battle. old-fashioned siege battle as long as that ram doesn't get shot down we should be okay our enemies have snatched victory from us like thieves in the night we are beaten let God fill you with courage and All right, next on the agenda is Rhodes. We're going to come over here. And this guy actually doesn't quite have enough mercenaries to be able to join the Crusades. So we're going to put him on a boat. Drop him right here across the channel. Put him back on the boats. We're going to merge up with that army. Then we'll recruit all these mercenaries to join the Crusade. This battle should be pretty straightforward. The only problem I've had a couple times here is that the, the ram can get destroyed by fire <laughs> so we only have one of those so that happens we just restart all right this is a strong ram I saw a couple times they've just opened the gate it's been kind of weird oh yeah let's check that and then they close it again very strange. All right, so we're there. Our men have reached the gate with the battering ram. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. Keep 
grace to God. We have captured the enemy. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. To our the enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. All right, push through here. Excellent. Our men have taken control of the castle. This is a clear. There we go. Okay. Goes to only men of. So we're gonna sack that. Noble lord, we have conquered. Quick, quick save. All right, and then what we're gonna do? Take everyone with us. Get on the boats. We're gonna go over to here. Trigger unlimited boat movement. It's a little bit tricky. We gotta get it right away. Okay. All right. Now the entire army, except for this unit of Light cavalry are going to get back on the boats. Yes. Orders. As my lord wills, we must. Yes. Your majesty. Yes. Orders. Yes. Your majesty. Orders. Uh. All right, so next order of business is roads, um, and we've got to do a little bit of a trick to make this one happen. Uh, so we're going to recruit some mercenaries, but that's still not quite enough to join the crusade. So I'm going to bring this guy up, I'm going to go over here, grab this unit of cavalry from that pool, and then we're going to come back, join the crusade there. All right, I'm actually just going to auto-resolve this because in doing some tests, I actually lose about the same amount of forces doing it myself um, and it's just not worth worrying about in fact it looks like actually the main thing that I wanted to preserve was the cavalry and they looks like they didn't lose anything this so that's great um, okay now what we need to do is we need to put everyone on the boats bring them all over here to Smyrna and then we're going to trigger unlimited boat movement by doing this, everyone except for the cavalry are getting back on the boats, and we are going to go up this way into the channel. We're going to. I haven't quite yet decided which of these settlements they're going to go for first. Um, probably some combination of all of them, to be honest. Um, but we're going to, yeah, we're going to just start right there. Um, and then this guy, he's going to take down Samarina all by himself. We'll lose him next turn, but that's okay. Oh, that's the end of his, that's the end of his road. Okay, so the next situation we need to sort is Milan. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to, like I said earlier, we're going to be taking down most of these factions in a single turn. And thankfully, Milan has left, left a little small army out here to, for us to do a forced draw. But before we do that, we're actually going to get a free general out of this army first. We're just going to kind of beat him up. Um, and so to do that, we're going to besiege that to prevent them from joining. Uh, and then we are going to fight this guy all by ourselves. Peasant Archer and Peasant Archer. This is going to be fun. All right, well, let's try this. This is really hard to get the result that I'm looking for. Um, because I, I've been able to win it, but um, I killed too many of them. So we need to make sure that at least 15% of them stick around. Uh, 
So this is quite challenging. I'm trying to steal, they don't want to move, so we're going to try and get a little bit of a high ground on them. At least not let them have the high ground on us. Stay out of range. So hopefully the loose formation will give us a little bit of an advantage in this trade-off here. Yeah, looks like we're gaining already. Good, 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 good. Only half the enemy force remains. Lord, preserve us. We have lost half of our men. I'm going to go in for this. have fought long and are becoming tired the captain's out in front maybe we can get him there oh okay come on get up get up get up get up, get up. Ooh. victory is ours let victory be I don't think that did it our wounds proudly earned in the name Shoot. of the holy Christ. Oh, yes, we did do it. Oh, my goodness. All right. Sweet. Okay, so we got ourselves a new general. That'll come in useful. All right, now we need to get a crusading army going. However, we're going to need to bulldoze a few things in order to make that happen. We'll get rid of the port here. We're going to drop the tax right here. Kill both of these things here. <laughs> Wow, we still can't do it. What else do we need to kill? Town watch in Genoa? Sure. And then we can get this guy as well. Okay. Now then, you can lift. Yes, Lord. Siege. Yes. Yes. Alright, let's do this. Yes, my Lord. This is maybe the third or fourth time I've done, it, done this battle. It's gotten a little bit frustrating. Challenge is I've only got one unit of cavalry. And he's trying to do two things at once. He's trying to kill the general. And he's trying to chase down all the routers. And the general's gotten away a couple of times. <clears throat> okay, so let's set this up like this. Infantry up we add you the infantry cavalry or sorry not cavalry archers you go there. Okay. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Okay, crush them please. The enemy flee glorious heaven above. Great. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him right. well. Give the dog some wine and be sure he can see us defeat the rest of his army. So 
So interestingly, this army does not have any archers. Which means we'll get a few volleys off on them. Battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Okay, come on, we need some backup here, guys. Oh, not that kind of backup. Hello. sitting there that's good don't really want them to do anything I need to make sure that he doesn't flee do not let him escape are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Come on, don't let him escape. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Great. Okay. Okay, now then. Uh, oh, perfect. That's all we need. Okay, I'm just going to make sure we clean all this up. Mild Knights are going to get away. That's all right.
think we got it. Here. Oh, let's get you up here. All of Christendom will All right, yeah, that definitely did it. Let's do that. So, here's the next part of this plan. First, we're going to start by bringing a unit from here over to take Milan. I'm going to sack that. And now Milan is dead. Okay. Now, here's the next part, and this is pretty tricky. Um, so, we're going to form everyone up here. Join the crusade. Then the doge is going to step forward a couple steps. Leave the crusade. Hire these mercenary crossbowmen. This imperial army is actually blocking this bridge. So it looks like I can go through it, but I actually can't. Um, so I'm going to have to fight them to get through, which is a little bit annoying. But the good news is we'll get a free general out of this if we do it right. So we're going to step this guy who's not on the crusade forward. And we're going to send along with him the cavalry. And two, three, four, five, two units of spearmen. And then we're going to fight this battle here. Where can we deploy? We're going to back up, I think. Uh, unfortunately, they'll probably make us come to them anyways, but we'll see if we can do that. Yeah, they're not moving. Okay, all right. We can play that game. Looks like most of their units are hidden in the trees. Plan as usual is to take out the general first. Oh, slow down where I don't know where they are. Uh, shoot, they're shooting the cavalry. That's not great. Let's see if we can get a good charge in. Oh, maybe. Okay. Uh, 
works. Back out. Uh, let's see. We'll charge after you. That was a good charge. The unit should be gone. Let's go for the archers. Whoop. Oh, shoot. They're getting our archers. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Get out of there. The enemy king is oh, slain. perfect. The enemy, but no less a dead for that. We must press our advantage. Excellent. Okay, that should be all we need. Trying to keep my general away from the general's bodyguard that's still running around. Perfect. Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. All right, that should be all we need. A little, a little bit more casualties with the horses than I was hoping, but I, I, it should be fine. is a clear victory that goes to only men of great I'm gonna have to do that I believe unfortunately okay so now this guy's standing here go ahead and quick save all right so the next step is we're gonna join these armies up the doge back on the crusade he actually both generals are going to stand here and then this guy this guy still has a little bit less movement because he did that first battle so we're going to leave him behind and i'll show you why we might be able to pick him up in a second we'll see but now we're going to fight this battle um should be relatively easy and the terrain's going to give us an advantage
So it's an ugly looking hill, but we're actually, our deployment zone goes all the way up here. So we're just gonna put everyone up here. All right, then we're gonna move over here. Cause they're down the hill right there. All right, and then we're gonna have these guys come in right there. Position over top of them as they climb up. All right, get a little circling going on here. Oh, that's a beautiful sound. It is unwise to praise to Excellent. our Lord. Our men have slain the enemy general. Now his men will lose heart. Praise the Almighty. Oh, that was so easy. 2% lost. To fight. We must push our advantage. Come on, really? This is a clear victory <laughs> nice. that goes to only men. Okay. Uh, this general kind of sucks, but okay. <clears throat> Alright, now then. Uh, we're going to save this as that. Okay. Now. Let's see. Can he be saved? We'll see in a second. Okay. First order business. Is to yes. bring Separating the fleets. these boats Sail. over here. Uh, now, my <laughs> so I make saves. There's a Byzantine navy there. Noted. Name thy enemy, Lord. Let me um. Okay. 
Three boats back. Go there. Just look around that. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. So we're going to put... Oh, we can't put him on Crusade just yet. We're going to first put the Doge there. And because he's so... Uh, diminished, they're actually going to be able to sally out against him, so that's good. Um, then, let's see, we're going to um, uh, okay. crusade him. And then his job is going to be to take Florence. So he's going to go there, besiege that. We're going to send these guys as backup for him. Um, okay, then these two remaining armies. Um, you need to go in Crusade. Um, and you're going to do that. So, okay, we can grab him to the eighth slot, and then we're going to give. Um, I'm trying to decide how much cavalry to give him. Yeah, we'll probably we'll send to give you the the good cavalry unit, and we'll keep it to medium ones. Okay. Um. Oh. Uh, and we're going to... Ah, shoot. Messed it up. Okay, so you're going to crusade. Um, you... Uh, crusade just yet. You need a unit to do that with. Um, you're going to go over here by yourself. And he's going to take Florence. That's his job. These guys are going to come in as backup. Boats are going to come back here. Um, you. Let's give. Um, these units to him. And then these guys are all going. To the British Isles. We shall continue tomorrow, my lord. We shall continue tomorrow, my lord. Dropping anchor until morning. This is as far as we go today, my lord. This is as far as we go. Okay, so you're gonna go there. We're gonna bring back two of the boats. Full sail. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Full sail. Plotting course now, my lord. Yes, my lord. We're gonna come back to here. Orders. Your orders, and then... Your orders, noble one. Your majesty. Your orders, okay, so one. these guys actually can't make it. That's kind of frustrating. But they can. Eh. Alright. That well, works. Yes. Full sail. And these guys, their job Nothing is going to be this is as to get to Dongola and Jeddah. This is as far as we go today, my so they're going to park right we there. Tomorrow, um, as as we then go. we're going to bring Separating the fleets. you back. I don't think that we have any more tasks for you, but we'll see. Okay. Got all that sorted out. Alright, so the last army we got to move this turn is this army that took Burn. And we're going to start by moving these guys 
head so we can get that little unit of archers with us. And then this guy. What? Um, all right. My lord. Yes. Alright, so the last thing we're going to do here is move this army up burn. Stand there. That guy's gonna go join him. And these guys are gonna go stand there. Quick save. And then we're gonna fight this battle. It's a little bit tricky. And I have gotten. I've won it. Um, but the trick is winning it and keeping enough guys. <laughs> That I have enough build points to actually lay siege to Dijon. So, uh, yeah, this could get could get a little iffy. Okay, we're gonna get off here. Um, these guys, I want there. Here's how this game is played. Really, the big trouble here is that they have a full unit of mailed knights with 81 troops, and we just sort of got the remainders. So we've got to be able to take that unit down while at the same time send their archers forward like they did last time they don't appear to be interesting they're not putting they're not doing oh there they go okay all right forward guess we're gonna crush their archers Gosh, that's great. Okay. I didn't get the general, but that's okay. Oh shoot, they reformed. Ah. Uh. Only intervention. Yeah, that was really good for a minute and then really bad. Genius can bring us victory from this disgrace. Enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Oh, get out of there. Shit. Only in 
intervention by the Almighty Lord or a military genius can bring us victory from this disgrace. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Praise to our Lord. All right, I think we got it, but I, I don't think that we got. Now his men will lose heart. I think we lost too many people. Praise the Almighty. Our enemy has lost his stomach. All of Christendom will be yeah. bored by the vision. We'll see, we'll see. The day is ours, Lord. No, maybe. Okay. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Okay, we're we're golden. All right, so that's all squared. Um, we're going to set the capital to burn, actually, because when we win Florence, we're going to want these units to show up there. Uh, yeah, that one. Yep. Um, yeah, so we should get some mailed knights that we can then drag along to the next destination. Um, let's see, we're going to move our agents, not that they're accomplishing much for us, but we'll just uh, see what's going on. And then let's see, is there anything else? Oh, yeah, you can, you should start moving that way. Hopefully we'll get you to Sicily. Um, this should be, yeah, we'll get a low tax rate on you. Um, go low tax rate. Uh, we'll leave you on normal. You can do a turn of that's fine. You need to not do that. <laughs> um, um, you can do a turn of riding and then we'll, yeah, we'll fix you. This guy we need to not ride because his building is important. And you we can raise the tax rate on. Let's recruit a diplomat. Um, okay, so we're going to need at least 2,000 florins for the end turn. Uh, and that is going to be a little tricky to find. Let's see, can we do that? That's gone for sure. Yeah, that's 70th. Okay. That can go. That can go. That can go. I think we can actually get rid of General's Port. I was wanting to make sure we could use it just to recruit more boats, but I think we've got enough boats running around that we'll be okay without it. Um, we can kill the stables here, and then that should be all we need. Which is good, because I don't think we can go a whole lot farther anyways. I think we've got basically shells of settlements at this point. Um, Great. <laughs> Does Rhodes have anything? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. So we got our 2,000 that we need for Hungary. Um, I was hoping to be able to build some roads in Vienna, but maybe that'll wait till next turn. So next turn, we are projected to take in a net of 11,000. Um, and that's obviously going to go up because we're going to capture a couple of settlements here on the end turn. Uh, and we are getting from other factions, tributes of 6520. Um, so I, I, that's not as much money as I was hoping to make, but I think we'll end up being okay. Um, <clears throat> and um, actually, I guess we could probably 
I hesitate to get rid of units because I know that we're going to be using units out here. Um, so it just it just sort of depends. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, I think that that's everything sorted there. And we will go ahead and move on to the end turn of turn two. Okay, so hungry, we would really like to get full tribute if we can. We only have 2,000 florins to offer. So we'll see what we can get out of them. I don't have any immediate plans to take Budapest. That could be a couple more turns. So it'd be nice to get this. We are also going to get Ron. Beautiful. Okay, excellent. All right. Now then. A JCO. All infantry, this is one, especially when we only got 19 guys, we're just going to run to the end of the map. A little bit less margin for error on this one, although I don't really anticipate fighting them head on at all, so... It should be okay. I think we'll just run them in a big circle. Just do a good toggle of sprint and walk. Cavalry... Um, regain their energy a little bit faster than infantry do. So we can keep him fresh while they're just stupidly sprinting around and getting exhausted. Oh, is that the sea? Look at that. Oh, wow. I don't know if I've ever seen a map tile like this. Maybe I have.
Oh, okay, we lost one. Alright, time to go. <clears throat> I should be pretty tired after that. If we can hold that. Oh man, this one's gonna be close. Jeez. Yikes. Oh, okay. You're gonna stop there and shoot. That's great. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh. God save us. The enemy have the walls. Look to our defense. Oh my belongs. goodness. Wow, that was tight. Victory is ours. Whew. That was the closest I've ever done one of those. We show little mercy. They deserve none. Okay. We march through your enemy streets. Victory. Alright. All right, they've got just that, and then we've got two ways of doing this. We can either do it just like we did the last one, or we can just set up our crossbowmen as a trap in the corner um, and use the general to charge them. So we got a little bit more flexibility in this one. Get out of there. Oh, yuck. It's dreadful terrain. Battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Let's get to here if we can. Mercenary crossbowmen can really shred light infantry. Oh, they're leading with their general. Ah, that's a big mistake. We gotta get the, on that side. I'll get around that rock, please. Oh, shoot. That was a bad charge, but I think we might be able to get him. Oh, stop shooting. Stop shooting over there. Shh. is in our favor if we remain true and wholehearted victory will be ours praise to our lord great our men have slain the enemy general now his men will lose heart nope those guys are out of the out of human <laughs> leading a cavalry charge that's fun Beautiful. Run down those worthless peasants. So we only lose one guy there? That's pretty crazy. We may not be able to get them all, but we don't really need to. Just trying to get this guy some experience.
Okay, good enough. All of Christendom. The day is ours. The enemy are beaten. Noble lord, we have conquered. God will deliver us to victory. All right, so we're redoing this one. Just trying to do this with this be a few less casualties. Lost about 15 of the horses from a volley of arrows last time. I'm trying to avoid that mistake. So when they're on this, when they're cresting this hilltop here, that's when we're going to start moving. I sometimes wish this game had like a 12x setting. 6 just does not cut it. And there we go. Fate has been kind. Okay, and we're going to save here because this is the end of the turn. Okay, that's interesting. I might actually take that. We'll see. New mission. No, we will not do that. <laughs> okay, so we want a different mission. Uh, let's double check. We got our mailed knights here at burn. That's great. Some talk of desertion. Just me on the crusade. And we got a pile of cash. Okay. Um, we are going to... Let's check. Okay, the British faction. And turn report looking great. We've got um, 15... Total regions. Um, is that right? No, we have 18 regions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. Um, 15 that we've captured since we started. Um, Crusade goes. Talk of desertion. Yeah, we're going to lose you. It's okay. We don't need you. Talk of desertion. We'll see. We may not be able to save you. Uh, maybe, though. We'll see. Um, and then change that and then this i'm i'm thinking we might actually want because if we get another mission that is good units i think it might actually switch to those rather than mailed knights but i'm gonna think about that so after over 90 times reloading this i got the exact mission and adoption candidate combo i needed didn't care what kind of adoption candidate i got but it just wasn't giving me them very often i think that's because my ratio of generals to settlements uh is such that it was mostly giving me more brides and and other things uh, but we got one, and then we also got a mission that was even better than I was looking for. I was looking for a capture rebel settlement and get military units one like we did last time, uh, but we actually got something better. First, let's accept this guild at Venice, so we've got that. Uh, then we're going to change the capital to Nuremberg, and we'll accept the adoption candidate to there. That's perfect. And then, let me show you the mission. The mission is Annex Settlement in Naples. 
Now, ordinarily, we don't like those kind of missions. Um, and that's just because usually it's very difficult to talk the AI into giving you a settlement that's really nice like Naples. But with the diplomacy bug, that's super easy. Um, so that means we can actually complete it right away, which means we get those units immediately. We don't have to wait till next turn. Um, the other problem was that Sicily was going to be about three turns away with this diplomat. But as a matter of fact, it turns out they've actually placed their princess right here. So we're going to talk to her. We're going to offer her 3,000 florins so that they have enough wealth to accept the bug deal. Um, and then they're going to take that. Uh, and now we're not going to attack Palermo super soon. So we do want to get an actually good um, tribute here. So we'll get those 3,000 florins back on the end turn. And we'll get them to give them us Naples. And there's map information. And then while we're at it, we'll see if we can get... Oh, they like trade rights a lot. Ooh, maybe they'll give us some money back right away. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. So, free 1,000 florins back. And we complete the mission. Three nights hospitality, because now we have the the guild. So, we get those the best units available. It's this. Um, and that means they went to Nuremberg. So, now we have this army here. And we'll sort that out in just a second. All right, so now what's next? Let's do the other diplomacy that we need to do this turn. Yes. Uh, we're going to go talk to France right here. And we are at war with them currently, but that doesn't affect the uh, effectiveness of the bug. We actually don't need to give them any money because we're actually going to eliminate them this turn. So uh, we don't need to get a good deal at all. We just need to give them something like 100 florins. We might have to go to 300. I forget exactly what the floor is of this uh this deal is but we're gonna ask them to give us all four of their settlements which is just great map information they don't like that right okay uh so we do need to do three thousand uh i'm just sorry not three thousand that's not what i meant uh they won't accept that 300 and again the number doesn't really matter because they're not going to last long enough to pay us the first installment um, so that should be very generous. There we go. And then they do that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so we have that. We have all of the French cities, and we'll have some fun things we can do with all that. The next thing we need to do, and this is just getting all our diplomacy out of the way at the beginning of the turn. So we're going to go talk to Constantinople right here. And we are going to do the same thing with these guys. They only have, that we, we actually we want a longer term deal. And I believe we need to give them at least 3,000, maybe 4,000. We'll see. Um, let's see if they take this. Um, and then we're going to give, give us all four of their settlements. Yeah, okay, we need to give them one more thousand, I think. Something just as useful. That uh, should do it. There we go. Great. Okay, so now we have all of the Byzantine Empire. That's fantastic. Unfortunately, they didn't really give us a lot of units in a lot of these places, so we'll have to deal with that in a bit. Um, but that's that all sorted. We're currently sitting at 27 turns, and we got or 27 regions, and we, we're just getting started on turn three. 
So we are in a very, very good spot. We got a lot of fun things to do. And we are going to start right here with Nuremberg and this brand new army that we hired. Uh, but before we even put him to use, we're actually going to get a second general. The HRE army that originally started in Nuremberg is actually hiding right there in those trees. You can see the little burnt area from where they've been uh, devastating this region. So we're actually going to step out right here with that guy. Um, we'll, we'll find him right there. And then we're going to put a couple of units right here just for some support. And we're going to take down this army. All right, so we've got the general to take care of, and the rest of this is just rubbish. Uh, I don't like this weather. Let's change that. Oops, still bad. Wow. Roll the dice. whatever uh, we are going to back up right here we're gonna go Let's see are they gonna come after me they might okay they are that's interesting okay uh, let's see if we can get you guys up at least on top of this hill here try and set up the cavalry over here so we can get a flank on the general Some peasant archers up in the front. Okay, let's see actually if we can charge them with one of those units. Okay, that was easy. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Let's go have you charge those guys down. Everyone here surround the general. Kill him, please. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but I love you shooting them and forging a worthy victory. Praise to our Lord. Beautiful. Okay. Makes things a lot easier. Now his men will lose heart. Enemy force remains. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, all the spearmen are routing. Clean up that unit. Okay. And then when you come back here, we should have everything all taken care of. Yep, there we go. Very easy. Oh, 
all of Christendom will Great. be awed by the victory. Alright, and then we are going to execute there. Got a new uh, general, and he's a drill master. Look at that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to join up the, actually just these guys to this army. I'm going to bring this guy over here. Everyone's going to go on the crusade. Then this guy's going to go off by himself towards Prague. And he'll take it down himself. It's just an infantry garrison. Then this guy's going to come over here. Put him on crusade. And then Cavalry's going to step back over there and move bug the whole army out to here. Uh, and then he'll, they'll all merge up together next turn. This guy, his job is to take down Frankfurt and we're going to eliminate HRE. So we're going to go stand right here. we got a force draw out right there. Alright, here's where it gets tricky. And I've tried this a couple times. Uh, but we're going to recruit this whole army of mercenaries. And the mercenaries are all going to stand right there. And then the general is going to stand there. Leave the crusade. And then he's going to fight this guy right here. Alright, so I've tried this a couple times. And I always win. Uh... But it's just a matter of making sure that we get 85% of both armies. Just proved a little bit more tricky than I feel like it should. Okay, so... Yeah, so here's the deal. We want to try and get... Uh, the infantry, probably, one of the big problems I'm running into is we're just too close to the map, so I actually want to get everyone moving. Oh, lag, okay. Um, <clears throat> towards them, I want to get them towards the middle of the map. See, once these guys come onto the map, a lot of times they'll just start walking that way, which is good for me. Or we can get a charge off on their archers. Um. Okay, this looks good. Very nice, very nice. Let's get out of here. Okay, that's the captain's unit over there. I don't know if we can get a great angle on him. Maybe if we can, if he stays right there. Charge down the hill. Where are you going? For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. So they're going to start going that way. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Okay, you guys gotta turn fast. Back up. See if we can get a charge off on these guys. Great, okay, we need that. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Okay, very nice. 
Very good, very good. Okay, how are we looking over here? Right, we're gonna have to. The enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless pests. Yeah, this is. All right, you guys. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, then we gotta make sure no one, none of you guys really run away. Let's get you. Clean this up. <clears throat> really want to focus down. Uh, yeah, yeah, we need the cavalry back to win this properly. Let's get and bring it back. I think we're more or less good. Maybe we can clean that up on the way over. Okay, let's drop those archers. Where are the... Where's their general? Okay, he's right there. That's perfect. Yeah, okay. Oh shoot, okay, we do need to clean up those archers before they get away. Okay, you can come on back. We need you better more here. Come on, get them before they get where's the map? Oh jeez. Oh, that hurt. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is not good, not good, not good, not good. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half the <clears throat> Okay, we gotta stop these guys from routing to the edge of the map. Okay, infantry focused on the general. Let's see if we can get where are you? Okay, yeah, yeah, go after them. And then you're gonna cut off the route path of these guys. Nope, go for general, general. Perfect. Head them off, head them off. <clears throat> okay, we're doing great. This is fantastic. Yeah, it's just the general. We just got to make sure the general doesn't route. Great. All right, I think that's it. That's all we need. Now his men will lose heart. Did we get everyone else? Who's still routing? Um, Praise the Almighty. Our enemy yeah, has I think that we've done this. We must push our advantage. Yeah. All right, that's it, right? Who's still on the map? Interesting. All right, great. All right, yeah, we definitely did that. Fantastic. All right. And then just barely enough for him to step in and sack it. And then that's the end of HRE.
All right, so the next step is taking down France. So we're going to merge up this army. We're going to take all these mailed knights that we got from the mission in the end turn. Form it all up together. Crusade. And go in here. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out France. Uh, we're going to get these cavalry that we got in the end turn, the mission. We're going to merge up here. Everyone's going to come in. Join the crusade. And we're going to take down Dijon. <clears throat> so it's gonna be relatively simple. Um, we just need to make sure we get through the ram, and then we're also I'm I'm babying these two units a little bit because I need them and their movement points uh, to get all the rest of these guys onto the next move this turn. So I may not even send them in. I, I don't want them to be killed. As long as the ram doesn't get burned, we should be okay. Let's see if we can drop a few of these cavalry with our crossbowmen. The battering ram is in place. Nice. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. The battering ram has done its work. Now okay. It's time for brave hearts and brave Beautiful. Now, actually, let's see if we can. I would love to just drop the cavalry. They're just going to sit here. I know we're taking a few shots off the tower, but I'm okay if those go hit the peasant archers. Well, if you switch to them, Let's see if we can just thin them out a little bit. Okay, so now they're okay. They're gonna retreat. Okay, now it's time to send everyone in. <clears throat> and then you guys just kind of stick around in the back. Soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Let's see if we can get this group to route and then collect them up before they get to the town center, that would be. Very, very nice. Yeah, move, 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 fast, 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 fast. Come on, Michael. Uh, come on. Enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men.
to our lord. Our men have slain the enemy general. Now his men will lose heart. Praise the saints. Our men right. have taken control of the Should city. Should be about done here. This is a great clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue. Yeah, siege battles are just always going to be a little bloody no matter how you do this. We try to minimize them where we can. Is ours. The enemy are beaten. Noble lord, we have conquered. All right. So <clears throat> now what we do yes. is that these guys step forward. March. Um. We're going to leave them there for just a second. I'll explain what we're going to do. So, we want to take down Paris. And, um, in order to do that, we need to beat this army, which is all infantry, so it should be doable with this. Um, the problem is that with Paris being right here, for whatever reason... They don't withdraw right to Paris. They want to withdraw to this square or this square uh, or this square. So what we're going to do is we're going to block off these two positions, and then we're going to beat them. We're going to beat them again over here, um, and so that is going to then push them back to Paris so that we can get Paris this turn. It's one of the more complicated force draws I've had to do. <clears throat> um. So this is needs to be. Actually, these guys need to go. We continue tomorrow, my lord. Orders, your majesty. All right, so next we're going to take Paris, and this is going to be a little bit complicated. So what I'm going to, I'm going to explain this part of it first. Uh, there's a French army hiding right here that we're going to beat, and we're going to push back to create a forced draw at Paris. However, they don't withdraw directly to there, so we're going to have to beat them, but we're also going to block out their favorite spots to retreat to, which are not right next to the city. Um, so, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, this yep. unit right here <clears throat> is going to need to come, let's see, we're going to step forward very carefully. Okay, so they like to retreat to here, um, so we need to have that guy stand right there, and we're going to bring, We're going to step everyone else to here so that they can reinforce the battle. And the one unit that still has movement is going to go here to block off their other favorite spot. <clears throat> Alright, now we are going to need to do a little bit more trickiness. You're going to stand right here. And then you're going to need to... Leave the crusade, recruit a, a spearman, who's then going to besiege Paris, so that they don't withdraw into Paris, <clears throat> and then he's going to be waiting for them to withdraw to there so that he can attack them. All right, so now we're going, now we're going to take down this army, all infantry. So the two units of male knights should be able to handle that without an issue. We get a hill. This is very good. Okay, so they're just going to stand there. That's great. <clears throat> I think there's a fourth unit hiding in the trees somewhere. 
right there. And again, we've got to make sure that at least 85% of the army lives. Or sorry, at least 15% of the army. We can't kill more than 85% or we'll have to release. But I think that they'll route before that, so... Got a good angle on the captain here. Let's see if we can hit it. Ooh, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. Oh, there's the other unit, okay. Great. <clears throat> the enemy general flees like the coward he is. Okay, so we got him. Okay, stop. Leave, leave the routers. Oh, great. Okay, all right. So we just got that one unit of Sergeant Spearman. Okay, <clears throat> we're at 48%. We're going to try and get as close as we can to 85. <clears throat> and I want to prioritize the Sergeant Spearmen. I don't like them very much. <clears throat> Okay, uh, that's probably good enough. All of Christendom will be awed by the... All right, we're going to execute that. Get a new drill master general. <clears throat> All right, so he's now standing there. Which means we are going to attack him. And this one we're just going to auto resolve because I want to I don't want to don't want to destroy him and the auto resolve is going to do that better than I will. Okay, now he's in position for the force draw. Um, it looks like yeah, he okay. We're gonna bring these guys all back in, and then he doesn't have enough movement left to hit him, but this guy. So we're just going to move you there. Up. Your orders, noble one. Your orders, noble one. Your might. Who do I face? Um, Alright, so he doesn't have enough movement to do this, so he's going to stand there <clears throat> and regather these units right here, and then this guy's going to start the battle. Alright, nothing there at all. This guy's just got the general. And then plenty of reinforcements.
Okay, so that's just those guys. We can send the cavalry to polish them off. Real threat is over here. So we're going to face... Right there, actually. Yeah, you're dead. Praise to our Lord. Our men have slain the enemy general. Praise the Almighty. Only half the enemy fought. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset. But our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Okay, let's slow down. Bring you guys over here. 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 Where are you? Okay, you're here. Okay, so they're going to go after the cavalry, interestingly. So let's... Have you slide around to here. Um, we're going to get <clears throat> a couple of the bigger units of mailed knights out to the side. Uh, I don't know if you're even going to make it in time to do anything interesting. Charge the archers. Okay, I'm gonna try and get a little bit of a surround. Oh, ouch, that hurts. A little bit of a surround out off on the um, general's bodyguard here. Wow, those, uh, those archers last a little longer than I expected. <clears throat> Lord protect us. Our general lies slain upon the battlefield. Okay, that's fine. We don't need him. Kind of hurts for morale, but it should be okay. Is in our favor. It, the enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Where are we over here? Let's... Okay, we're just gonna make sure that the general doesn't route off the map. King Great. Lies dead, <clears throat> by our brave soldiers. Praise the Almighty. Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. All of okay, the all set. By the victory we have won. I'm going to execute there. Okay, and then here's the problem. Do we have anyone who can step into the city? We do not. Shoot, okay. Um... Okay. Oh, you can do it. Okay, great. <clears throat> As you wish, forming two armies. Your orders, number one. God will Beautiful. Go. Okay. All right. So we'll return to this situation later. There's not a lot more we're gonna do in this area, but we are gonna do a little bit. And most of us do get spawning generals off all these rebel stacks around here. So we'll figure that in a second. <clears throat> First, let's go up to 
the British Isles. Uh, now, there are four rebel settlements that we need to make sure we take up here. Uh, and we're going to do this all with this army this turn. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to step everyone onto here. Refresh the Crusade, just so we make sure we've still got them all next turn. Uh, and then we are going to send this guy off by himself to take down New York. And because he's small, uh, this garrison is going to come out against him. The really nice thing about the British Isles is that you have some larger garrisons, but they're actually all infantry, uh, which means that it's going to be super easy to take them all down. Carnivon is actually going to be, we're going to send all infantry to take care of this. Uh, so this guy's going to stand here. He's going to get the, uh, the forced sally out. The rest of the infantry is going to stand here as reinforcements, and it's enough more infantry than Carnivon. They should be able to handle that. Uh, the general. This is, a course we is going to. Go there. And that's so he can get back. And help them all out. Um, and then this guy. Is going to go all the way up here. To Inverness. <clears throat> Also, all infantry. And the boats. For the moment, we'll just put it right here. We, that's where we want it to end turn, but we might need it for some other troop movements later. So, <clears throat> that's the British Isles sorted out. Um, and that's... So, by, by beginning of turn four, we'll have all four of these settlements, which will be great. Alright, let's move over to this area. And here's what we're going to do here. Not a lot. We're going to step off right here. Uh, recruit... Uh, we'll start with... No, actually, we do need both. And I'll explain why. Uh, so we're going to recruit both of those. Um, and then this guy is going to take down Kaffa. The little sally out against him. I've tested that. Um, and then the rest of the guy is going to... Is going to go over here to circle. So we're going to get off the boat here. And then we're going to use this cavalry to help bug the infantry along. Which means that we'll be at Sarkle by next turn. So then take Sarkle and they're also going to get to Bolgar. And I think that's probably all this army is going to do, but we'll see. The next situation we're going to sort out is the Russia situation. So this army is going to get off the boats, refresh the Crusade, hire these mercenaries. Um, and then the cavalry, you guys can get back on the boat. Go over here. You're going to get out and besiege Helsinki. You're going to come over here and besiege Riga. Um, and then right here, we're going to get a free general and a force draw at Novgorod. So you're going to stand there and you're going to stand there. <clears throat> And we'll take out Russia. Only thing we need to watch out for is the prince right there. Take up your positions, men. Take this day ours. Okay, so we got these guys right here. Let's go take them down. Okay, yeah, the iffy part about this is that we only have the one unit of cavalry to chase routers down. So we just got to be careful about this. I love mercenary crossbowmen. It 
is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Alright, let's start setting up those guys. You guys, let's start the uh, reforming right here. Who are you? Pilgrims? Yeah, come back. We don't need you over there. Honestly, yeah, you can come over here too. We'll just leave the cavalry to finish these guys off. Oh, how'd you let them get past you? Infantry, let's start um, taking this down. Half the enemy force Come on, hurry up with that, please. We got a lot of archers. Wow. Okay. Alright, so that's done. You're gonna come back and hit. Where's the other unit of archers? Okay, right here. That's predictable. Oh, we got the captain right here. Let's see if we can get him. Unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Oh, why are you guys all going off the place? Okay. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. Oh, that's the general unit. Oh, yikes. Okay. Yeah, bring some reinforcements, please. Alright, let's bring you guys over here. Let's hit you in the back. Where's the captain? This unit. Oh, beautiful. That's exactly what we need. Okay, we just gotta be careful that they don't route. Just don't route too fast, please. Not too fast. <clears throat> oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, no. Don't let those archers get away. Come on, guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay, they're withdrawing. This is very bad. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Okay, come on, General. We need you. Oh my gosh, hello. Don't route my guys, please.
Oh, come on. I can't take a battle with you right now. Our army is tiring. Oh, man. I think we're getting there, we'll see. Man, this guy's getting tired. Praise the Almighty. Our okay, the general's bodyguard's gonna go away, that's good. We must push our advantage. Okay, I think there's a unit over here somewhere. Is that big? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> we'll see if we can catch him. We may not be able to. But I think that we've done it either way. We'll see. Yeah, I don't think we're going to catch him. Wow. He's too tired. Maybe. Be tight. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, I think we did it. We'll see. This is a clear victory. Yeah. That. that yes. Men of great birth. Hiding up. Beautiful. <clears throat> Blessed Lord, we thank you for delivering us. Your orders, right, so we're gonna put Your you on crusade. You should have a lot of movement. <clears throat> see what we can do with that. Um, let's just throw you in there for the moment. Now, these two armies need to get moving. They each have at least two more destinations to conquer. Um, so, here's what we're actually going to do for this. We need just... We need one more unit of mercenaries to keep everyone crusading. So we're actually going to go take the general up here to the Helsinki region with a new pool. And we're going to recruit um, one unit of pilgrims. Actually, we'll get, we'll get both of them. Why not? Um, and then uh, we need to leave three units for this guy. So we will really doesn't matter all that much which ones go where they're gonna stand out here yep. Your orders, noble one. and they're gonna join up there we're gonna move but bug them out east and bring the general along to follow it's a little bit inefficient but it actually really won't be an issue um, because they, all they need to do is get to Moscow, which is here, so that'll be maybe turn five, and then rise in down here, which should be turn six. So, not really an issue. Just want to make sure that everyone can stay in the Crusade. We're not going to lose any armies. All right. And then this guy is going to go down here and recruit all of these mercenaries. And then these guys are going to go as far as they can. Um, but 
uh, they'll be able to be moved and bugged along with this unit of cavalry. So that unit of cavalry is very important. Alright, so next we need to sort this whole Italian area. So we're going to start with getting the Doge out of Ajacia. We're going to do that by bringing these boats over. Putting him on. Going to about there. Bringing these boats over here. I'm going to move Guido out of the way for just a second. Uh, and then we're going to... Drop everyone off right there. Um, buy a new boat, a whole new Merc army, put everyone in here, rejoin the Crusade, and then let's see, we're going to put everyone on here so that we can re-bug the whole thing. So now all four of those boats are fully bugged and we can use them this turn. There we go, okay, perfect. And now, we're gonna take these five units of mercenary crossbows, and we're gonna go attack this rabble guy. And it's okay that we lose some of them. I don't love, those are kind of a high casualty rate, but really, barely matters what these guys do at this point. Um, we're gonna bring all of them back to here. Refresh the crusade on everyone. Then we're going to come over here, and the guy who took Florence is going to stand right there. The rest of his army is going to go there. These guys are actually going to be able to be saved. We're going to go right there. Then we're going to take just the Doge and the Crusader Knights into the boats. We're going to come over here. Everyone's going to stand in this army. Refresh everything. And then we're going to... We'll just set aside two units right here. This army's all going to get in the boats. Oh, don't hit that guy, please. Go all the way through here. continue tomorrow, my lord. All the way to right in front of Antioch. Um, and then this guy's going to come over here. Pick up three of these units. And we will come right over here. Drop them right there so that next turn they can all join up. And we'll get some extra units because they've got a lot of things to do. Alright, uh, we're going to bug you back to... Uh, here. Let's bring another boat over. Leaving the rest of the fleet, my lord. Yes, my lord. And then let's see. Uh, so you're gonna need to get on here. And then you're going to get dropped off. Dropping anchor until morn. Right here at Palermo, because Sicily's going to attack us in the end turn, and we got to finish them off before they start dropping random armies at our settlements, our unguarded settlements, and stealing them. So that's that's going to have to be that. <clears throat> All right, we're going to join these guys back up together. And then Guido's going to come all the way over. Yes, my lord. Dropping anchor until morn. To Lisbon. And the Moorish diplomats actually going to be over here next turn as well, so we can get the both of them. Um, this guy's going to step out here. We need an additional boat, so we're going to bring this one over. He's also glitched and ready to go. Come over here, watch out for the Portuguese Navy right there. Plotting course now, my lord. Plotting course now, my lord. And then these guys can come over here and pick up Frolio. And then Frolio is gonna go talk to the Spanish. We shall continue tomorrow, my lord. This is as far as we go today, my lord. 
dropping anchor until morn. This is as far as we go today, Mark. Um, and we'll, the best, most accessible route for him is going to be right here. Um, and there's going to be one Captain Miguel right here for him to talk to. So, uh, there's that. Uh, we'll go ahead and put this boat back over here so this army can use it next turn. And the last diplomat to sort, actually there are two diplomats to sort, so we can, we might be able to fade this out. Um, is that we have... Yeah, this guy actually can't get on a boat, so he'll be able to get on a boat next turn. I don't even know if we'll need him at this point, um, but he is he is there if we want him. Uh, so instead, and Talentus actually doesn't need to get on a boat. He needs to be um, right there because the Turkish diplomat is going to be coming through here, and we're going to be able to talk to him. Uh, so that's perfect. All the diplomats are taken care of. We're going to come back to this area in France. We are going to take down this rebel stack. It's going to be a little bit tricky because we don't have a lot of... Like, cavalry's about even, so take a little bit of luck and some positioning. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't like this whole hill thing. It's not very nice. Um, so let's just make sure we get up on the high ground. And, uh, we'll try and, um, take out the general. Okay, that's good. They're going to break away, and they're going to go after the archers. That's just that's perfect, actually. Okay, the general's right there. Getting a lot of hits on him. Got him. Okay, perfect. Our men have captured the enemy general. Okay, let's hit the archers. Give the dog some wine and be sure he can see us defeat the rest of his army. We're going to go head off this last unit of mailed knights. Excellent. Okay. It's actually much less painless than I expected. All of Christendom will be all. Alright. Blessed Lord, we thank you for And then this guy's not gonna be able to do a whole lot. 
Um, we're going to place him right here on the way to Spain, but we're going to recruit two units so that he'll be able to have eight units next turn. Then we're going to go up here. And this army, uh, which has been given the Crusade movement, which is great, is going to go back and take out the other rebel, rebel general in the same way. Um, and he's going to... Actually, we got that guy right there. Move out. And yep. then this guy. Rearrange. Yep. Let's stand right there. Yes, this is where Similar kind of deal here. We just got some more infantry for support. Weapons, we bring them... Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand. Okay, we're going to back up. Okay, we're going to set up the crossbowman. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Yeah, we really want to make use of the crossbowman here a little bit if we can. Good, good. Okay, charge in. <clears throat> Yikes. Enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Okay, that guy's routing. Good, we got a good angle on them with the archers. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Well, I don't like that my captain is right up there. Great. Okay, that should be it. Our men have slain the enemy general. Now he's the enemy. All of Christendom will be. That was actually. That was also pretty painful. Let me actually just see real fast. A most honorable victory, my noble lord. Make camp, men. We rest here. If we can get a better result. By auto resolving. Yep. Orders, my lord. Yep. Onward. Orders. As my lord. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot better. Okay, we're gonna keep that one instead. The day is ours. 
Okay. Got no more movement left to move people together, but we'll crusade next turn. And we're gonna save that over that one. Great. Okay. We're winding down this portion of the turn, but we got some odds and ends to do. This cavalry guy, I'm gonna move him a little bit farther up because obviously they're going to Bruges, and then maybe to London. We'll see. Probably to London um, next turn. So I want to have him available to bug some of the infantry along, maybe to Bruges and Antwerp. Um, so I just want him to be a little bit farther ahead there, and we should have enough units to re-crusade everyone down here anyways. Uh, this guy, similarly, is going to take a, uh, a step forward, um, but only a step because we need the whole army to re-crusade. So there, for him, and then he'll join up with the next turn. Um, they're all set. Uh, they're all set down here. This guy is going to just take one step forward. Um, and he actually needs to get a unit of tribesmen in order to be able to re-crusade. So we're going to do that. And refresh the crusade. And then he is going to go as far as he can this way towards Jeddah. Um, and then the last thing we got to do is this guy. Who has all the troops he needs and is going to... Okay, we're going to start with this guy. He's going to stand right there. And then he's going to join up with them. So this army is headed to Timbuktu. This guy's actually headed all the way to Argwin, so he's going to start getting a little bit of a head start. And we don't need they don't need him to refresh the crusade. Um, interesting. Hope the Turks are not at Timbuktu. Okay. So that's all of those armies sorted. We're going to double check the lists here. That's where he is. He's there. He's there. Um, he's there. Yeah, we got a couple navies floating around that we don't really need, but um, could be helpful to have more boats down the line, so I'm not going to get rid of them. Uh, he's there. 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 Yep. Okay. Name thy enemy, Lord. Your orders? Your orders, noble your majesty. Command me. Your orders, noble one. Yes? Order. Your orders, noble one. Your orders, noble one. Your majesty. Orders. Your majesty. Everyone's where they need to be. Orders to your majesty. Yep. Orders. Your orders, noble one. Yes, orders. Your orders? Your will. Orders? Yep. Yes. Okay, alright. So those are all the military guys. We'll deal with settlements in a second. Agents, Guido's there. You can maybe go take a look at Budapest to see what's going up there. Uh, you're headed to the gold mines. You are useless. You're headed there. You're there. And you're to there. Okay. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of management. We're going to start by making this the capital again. Um, and then let's go through the problematic settlements. Um, Genoa, drop the tax rate. Nuremberg, drop the tax rate. Um, Innsbruck is 70. It's fine. Um, this one, we're going to drop the tax rate, but that's still not going to be quite enough. So we'll bring over this guy from Milan. Um... Let's keep going down the list. Um, Zagreb, drop the tax rate. Roads, this one's tricky because it's already rioting and we can't recruit anything here and won't be able for a couple turns. So, I'm going to break out the old bug boat. Bug boat. Bring you around, avoid the navy right there. And then we're actually going to make use of this little 
guy right here, which is about to disband anyway on the, uh, on the end turn. Um, and we will use that to keep you happy as the end turn hits. I believe that should work. Um, and then we're going to put the bug boat back. Right there. Save quick save on that. Okay, moving along the list. Florence drop the tax rate. Smyrna mustering hall. No, yeah, recruitment's not possible, unfortunately. Rames uh, drop the tax rate. Angers, we're gonna recruit both of these guys actually. Toulouse is recruiting already. Marseille drop the tax rate. Thessalonica drop the tax rate. It's just three turns is too long. Um, trying to do the church, and we'll see what we need to do to, to save it. Nicaea, I can't do anything there. Corinth. Um, uh, I don't think we got the money for that. I think that you'll be okay, but we'll, we'll figure that out in a bit. Nicosia, can't recruit anything. Frankfurt, actually, let's recruit a diplomat. We might be able to use that for Denmark. Um, Dijon. Tax rate. Paris, you're okay. Novgorod, this one's going to be tricky. We're going to build a church because that's about all we can do. Uh, these are going to take too long. Um, and they just cost too much. Uh, so we'll just have to watch that. I, mean, I am very nervous about that one. But we'll, we'll find a way to make it work. Um, and then the last thing I want to do is I do want to build some roads in Vienna. Um, and that's hopefully that's going to help us get to Budapest eventually. Uh, actually, we need to do one more thing. So let's destroy that. Uh, what else can we get rid of? Uh, we don't need that. Yeah, and we're going to use both of those to help kind of replenish and, and satisfy some of these Italian cities. Um, which that may not be necessary, but... Oh, well, we'll, we'll get them. Because we need many to move the capital around and everything, too. So, just to keep everything happy on end turns. Okay. So, that should take us to the end of turn three. And we are sitting on 31 regions. Uh, we're going to add, I think, another eight. We got four right here. We got two up here. One right here. That's seven. And then eight is Kappa. So, that, that should be eight additional regions on the end turn. Um, and that should be pretty exciting. So... I think we're in a good spot, and uh, we're ready to move on. All right, so the first thing we have to do is take the settlements off of England. Uh, so we are going to get them. They're only going to be able to offer... We're only gonna, they're only going to be around for, I think, one more turn. So uh, I'm not even going to bother giving them money in order to make get a better deal. This is, this is totally good with me. Um, and then we're going to get both their settlements off of them for map information. And they like that. I accept this map and then we will see. They did offer trade. You asked for trade rights at the beginning. So we'll see if we can get that off of you. Beautiful. Well, that and then Sicily well. attacks Naples. That was predictable. This is not good. And then Scotland talks to us as well. Unfortunately, they have no settlements to give us. Oh, they didn't even actually talk to us. Interesting. That's new. Okay, we're going to start here with Helsinki. Basic little rabble, uh, rabble of infantry. Let's save this as Helsinki. And let's hop into this. Alright, this is an interesting little map you got here. <clears throat> the goal is to keep the cavalry on... ...fresh the whole time, up until the point where we're actually making a dash for the settlement. 
these trees should help help cover us from the archers. Oh, they're warmed up. That was not ideal. Let's see if we can rest them here for a second. How close are they? Okay, time to keep moving. There's, there's the map. And I think we're going to lose this unit anyways at the end turn. I don't think we're going to be able to save them. So it's, a, it's really okay if they take a couple shots. That's okay. It should be great. My lord, our men are in command of the castle. No problems here, I don't think. And we're done. Fate has been kind. The day is ours, Lord. The enemy are beaten. Yeah, actually, a lot of these battles are going to be very similar. So I might, we'll see, I might do some, uh, speed ramping or time lapses as part of this just because a lot of these battles are going to end up being very boring to watch on camera oh yuck don't like this weather. This guy is a general, so he'll replenish um, troops on the fly. So I also can be. I'm also okay with him taking a few archer shots here and there if he needs to. Doesn't seem like far enough away, to be honest. We'll see. Maybe it is. This is a large town, so there's a ways to go from the gate to the square. Yeah, that should be fine. Our men have taken control of the city. Yeah, 
we should be okay. They're gonna get probably just inside the gate. Maybe to the gate. I was right on the money. Fate has been kind. victory my noble lord god has delivered us this victory draw your weapons men we bring the battle unit all right Oh, actually, this one's a village, so we can go to any side. I kind of want to draw them all the way up this hill. Yeah, it's not... Okay, it is a big hill. Okay. Yeah. We're going to go all the way up here. Make them run that. Let's try and get around them here. We'll see if that tired them out enough. The village, again, is, is super easy to get into the middle of. So, these are the ones that I've had the most experience cutting it kind of close with. Tricky. Praise the saints. Our men have taken control of the city. Yeah, I think we'll be okay, but barely. At a certain point, I don't know why I worry about these, because I've never actually had the problem with them coming in. But sometimes they just look really close. <laughs> Done. Fate has been kind to us. We're gonna Fate. occupy this one. Just because we want to be able to Noble put walls on it if we can. But honestly, I don't even know if that's there's a point to that at this point. Yeah, we'll go to Zach, that's fine. All right, so I know I just joked about how it never they never catch up. Well, I tried Riga once, and they did. So <laughs> uh, it was just like a fraction of a second they they came into the town square and stopped me. So I, it's definitely doable. I just got to be a little bit more careful.
Alright, let's go. I noticed these little cages here. Some cool little details. Of course, you got the bells chiming during the attack. Pretty cool. My lord, our men have taken control of the city. All right, I think that this should be good. Yeah, they're pretty far away this time. Alright, and next we got Kaffa. We have Men, bring our people honor, glory, and most of all. Oh, actually, no, I don't want to miss that corner. There's not enough room to actually get away from the other army. Gonna be tight. Might lose a few, but yeah, we're not. Oh my gosh, that was a lot. But this unit's not getting anywhere after this, so we're fine in that regard. Control of the city. Done. Um, gotta start thinking about some of these like far flung ones. We might want to start thinking about exterminating, especially if we're not going to get any value out of them. Just gotta keep them happy because that guy's going to disband next turn, and so it's going to have no garrison. It will not be able to get any. Okay, Inverness. Oh, 
rate. This is very Scottish weather. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so actually, if I run them to the corner, then run them along this, and back up the cliff, they're going to never get up. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the move. So we run them down and over here, I think. How close are they? Get them solidly over the cliff down here. Come over the edge. Want that last unit down here? All right, let's get up there. Where the heck is the entrance? There it is. Oh, Scottish attacked here with a... Surely they didn't have siege equipment? They put a ram... I don't understand what happened there. That's very confusing. Oh, yeah, they're so stuck. That'll take them forever. Our men have fought long. Excellent. Our men have taken yeah, all right, easy, easy. Dublin. This one could be a little rough just because the generals are slower than a lot of the other cavalry units and it is a village. So this one will be a bit of a challenge. We'll see. Any particular terrain things we can use? Maybe that side? This one's got a hill, but it's probably not a big enough of one. This one's just flat and open. It's a long ways away, so we'll see.
And again, because it's a general, I don't mind letting them get pretty close to me. Take a few shots from the archers if I have to. Whoa, okay. Okay, did we not take any shots? Look at that. I don't know how that happened. I don't know if that'll be good enough. If it's not, we'll just run through the other side. Yeah, that could be tough. Praise the saints. Our men have taken control of the city. I think we get it. Yeah. Just barely, I think. Yeah. Sweet. Victory is up. We show little mercy. They deserve none. Yeah, again, another far flung village to make sure that we're okay. All right, this is going to be the interesting one, and we obviously can't do the normal strategy. Okay. Bring our people honor, glory, and most of all. Okay, let's get this other guy out of here as fast as he can. They do just have infantry, so they probably can't be faster than him. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm trying to set up the archers on the side here. And if we just wait here and they run to us, then... Um, we should have a morale advantage. And we, we outnumber them as well, so... Um, this should be pretty doable. Just as long as we don't ever have to go back and fight in the town square. We want to get them all routing all at once if we can. That's sort of the trick. Yeah, so if he's winded, and my guys are all... F if he's winded, they should also be winded. At least. Alright, let's start. Okay, they're routing already. That's very good. The enemy general has no honor. He Excellent. Okay, here's the problem, though. 
We have no one. It's really. It's going to be tricky to get this last unit routing. Nice. We have captured the enemy's general. That will teach the cowardly dog to run. Now he can only half the enemy force remain. Okay, all right, they're fast. I guess maybe they're just tired out, and we're we're powering them on that. These guys are just running into the woods, which is not great. Okay, they're routing. Okay, we just need to get that. Someone needs to split off and come get them. Okay, they're routing now. Just the one unit there. Can we get them to turn around? I really don't want to fight this in the town square. Up, oh, hello, sound. There we go. Uh, hmm. Come on, guys, route. Everyone's moving so slow. Yeah, yeah, they are. Okay, come on, Longbowman, stop running away. is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Okay, we're going to turn that way and just try and cut these guys off a little bit. I don't like fighting battles with no cavalry. We gotta get inside the gate there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no. Alright, well they'll have to come back out, I guess. Uh, that just makes things a little more painful. Okay. So they're going to come back out, and then... The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. And then worst case scenario, if these guys never stop running, that's fine. We'll just uh, take the town square. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset. But our men are winning the battle. 
and forging a worthy victory. My lord! Our men are in command of the castle! Man, that's pretty good. 1%. Oh, don't leave! Oh my gosh. Wow, what are y'all doing? 1% is pretty good. Did you guys just give up? Okay. All right. That's pretty good. Okay. And then I think this is the last one we're taking this turn, so we do need to save here. Sack. Beautiful. Oh, great. We got an adoption candidate. That's exactly what we're looking for. A guild. Okay. I don't think we need that. Um, no new mission? Oh, small church from the Pope. Yeah, I'm sorry. That probably is not what I want. Um, yeah. Let's go and run through the rest of these. The nurse notice. Yep. You know about that. Yep. You're probably done. Yeah, you guys are fine. You're fine. Also, f maybe fine. Probably fine. Yep, all good. All good. All good. Good. Uh, maybe, we'll see. Yep. Yep. Good. And that was at Rhodes, but that's okay. They did their job of preventing that from rioting. Okay. Um, Alright. Resorto de Luca. Where is that guy? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're one of the guys who wanted to move too, so that's fine. We, that's good. Um, but yeah, we will want a different mission, and I'm pretty sure that we can get one, so let me do some refreshing and see what we can get. Future Cosmic jumping in here to say that the audio for turn 4 is really, really rough, and I didn't catch it till after the turn was done. I recorded it with my headset mic by accident, and not my real mic. So, so if you're not, the audio gets better at turn 5. If you just want to skip ahead to that, feel free. Alright, so I think like 15 reloads or something like that, nothing crazy like last turn. Uh, we got ourselves a drill master, which is actually going to be important for this turn. I'll explain why in a second. Um, so let's minimize that. We got another guild available, but it's the exact same one as last time, and we're not really going to be recruiting and moving units, so we'll not accept that. For the adoption candidate, we're going to put him in Vienna. <coughs> All right, and then first order of business is all our diplomacy. So we're gonna take this guy, go over here to the Turks. I think we're gonna have to give them 4,000. Kinda hurts, but we got the cash. <clears throat> and then we're gonna get 3,000 off of them. They might live for another turn or two, so we'll go ahead and do this whole thing. Settlements. And I thought about bribing him because he's a good diplomat, but to be honest, we really are reaching a stage where we just don't need anymore. Um, and he also, because he's a good diplomat, asked for like 7,000 just to become just to switch sides uh, so it's just not worth it instead we're going to do trade rights and they're actually willing to give us 2,000 florins for that privilege which is pretty crazy um, so we get back half of our initial deposit um, and that means we're breaking a profit uh, next turn when they give us their first installment of 3,000 um, okay so that's turkey we got that. They give us some archers. Yerevan gave us some cavalry. That will be very important later. 
Um, and Mosul, for whatever reason, doesn't give us anything, so we've got, we're going to have to sort that one out. Uh, next, we are going to go over here. Let's click save. Alright, so we're going to talk to the Moors right here. We're going to have to give them 4,000. And then we're going to have to give away trade rights to free, for free to increase our, our relations with him so that we can then bribe. by giving away 2,000. You can see that improved our relations slightly. Then we're going to do another payment of 1,000. And one more payment of 1,000. For a total of 4. Then we're going to do the regular deal. to give away trade rights just for free so that now our relations are reasonable and then we're going to be able to bribe oh wow okay that's so weird you said to ask again well we're going to take that okay now it's more difficult than I expected but now we're going to turn on this, the easy part of this. We can talk to Portugal with that guy. And they are meager, so we're going to have to give them 2,000. if they want to get some trade rights after that because now our relations are very good oh they don't want to pay for that at all okay all right well we're done here okay so that's portugal we've got pamplona now we've got this is a problem i don't like that they stand here um it's possible in the internet that they may attack us um got that and that's also empty. So the, the more stuff is kind of a mess. And it, it usually goes that way. Yes. Alright, let's do this. Because we can still talk to the Spanish as well. Remember I mentioned Captain Miguel. He's right here. 
Spain is actually already very poor. So we can get them to do this deal without giving them any new money, which is great. And there we go. They might be willing to pay for trade rights. We'll see here. Okay, they feel about a thousand. Great. Alright. I realize I haven't told you what my mission is yet. It's to take Rebel Settlement Smolensk. Uh, so we will uh, handle that right now. To do this, we have to actually backtrack just one space, bring down the rest of this army. Put the general back in. That puts this guy at the front. I'll refresh the crusade. And that gives everyone just one movement space so that we can bug them along. Let's see, where is this exactly? Right there. Right there, okay. So the general. We want him to stand right there. Alright, perfect. And then the rest of you guys. We're gonna bug on down to here. This army is gonna rejoin up. And then we're just gonna go. Unfortunately, there's no cavalry to bug them along in this army. Um, so we're just going to go as far as we can that way. And bug it to Moscow next turn. And then. Next, we need to solve. I made a little bit of a mistake last turn. I didn't recruit two units in Tulu, uh, which means that this guy is just one unit shy of being able to do a crusade. So, we have to do something that's a little bit painful. Uh, and we have to move the general over here. And we're just going to have to recruit a unit of spears that's not actually going to be able to do anything. Come back here, start the crusade. Um, and then everyone except for him is going to be able to get to the coast. And I'll handle that in just a second. First, we're going to take this army right here at Palermo. Uh, we're going to bug out the boats by stepping ashore. And then we're actually going to do it again. And we get them all back on here. We've got enough movement points to burn, so might as well do this. And then we're going to besiege Palermo. Let's refresh the crusade here. Um, and then we're going to take all of these guys, put them here. And then he's going to get a stand here. We need the crusade. Besiege the settlement, and they will draw out. Okay. These boats are going to come over here. They're going to go right here, and then we're going to take this army, except for you. They're going to get on the boats without their general. And then we're going to take them this way. And they're going to go sit outside of Nicaea. Um, and that way we'll either recruit a general here or we'll create one with a man of the hour. A uh, couple different options for that. Next, we're going to sort this guy at Angers. Everyone's going to join up right here. He's got everything he needs. We're going to send one unit of cavalry over to Ren. The siege. 
all the infantry to that square. And then this guy has more movement than the others, right? Okay. So he's gonna step forward. And he's gonna stand right there. And then this guy's gonna besiege Bordeaux. Um, okay. Alright, next, let's go over here to Budapest. We'll return to that drill master candidate that we got earlier. He's gonna step outside, recruit some mercenaries. Gonna push this guy away. We don't need to bother with him. They're gonna stand there, and then this guy with his drill master points can get all the way to this spot. Leave the crusade and besiege. Then we're gonna come over here. Quick save. <clears throat> Join everyone up here. Everyone goes on a crusade. And we're going to add in this guy too. Got some new mercenaries. Alright, now this army is going to split three ways take Bruges, Antwerp, and London. So let's do this. Here to Antwerp. <clears throat> this guy's gonna go over here to besiege it. At Bruges, I'm going to drop all of these guys right here. And the general with the least movement, which is this guy, is gonna go here. rest of these guys, go to the coast, get two mercenary boats, get in the boats, trigger unlimited movement right here, and they're going to get in, they're going to come around here, they're going to take some free guys that we got from Nottingham, step them out here, leaving one in case England wants to besiege, and we're going to stand right there. And these guys are going to go join them. And he's going to go there. Leave the crusade. And besiege. Next we're going to go sort out Scotland. So let's get the gang back together over here. Let's get one more horse, that might actually be really helpful because we got to send a lot of, they got a pretty big army. So go over here, drop off right there, and then if we can step forward just a little bit, we're going to get this guy back as well. You guys are going to stand here, and then everyone else is going to stand right here. Alright, I'm going to leave the crusade. And here we go. set up there. Let's see if we can get 
get around and flank them maybe a little bit here. General, get away, get away, get away. Oh, come on, guys. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Shoot, come on, man. Disengage from that. Yeah, me too. Knights don't like that. Uh, spearmen, please. Oh, perfect. Okay, great. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well. Give the dog some wine and be sure he can see us defeat the rest of his army. Oh, shoot. They're getting on top of my archers. Yeah, that's not good. units that still need to be cleaned up. We're not going to get those horses. Oh, maybe if they turn around, we will. Reform you guys. The enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless peasants. Okay, let's see if we can head them off. And you guys just rest for a second. Yes! Get him, get him, get him, get him. Okay, 
Now they're gonna get away, that's fine. Now we focus on go to general. So what's he got? Two units of infantry and a big general's bodyguard. Okay. Looks like no archers. Great. Okay, so we'll let them come all the way up. Spearman up on the general. Oh, perfect. Great. That's all we needed. Oh, we do need the bodyguard to route. Okay. Yeah, we did that. Okay. next situation we're going to sort out is the Germany situation. We've got this guy here. We're going to rejoin. So we're going to snag all these mercenaries. And then we're going to actually very carefully we're actually just going to auto-resolve this. Minimal casualties. And then we're going to well, we can sack it. I'm going to go ahead and make that a Mott and Bailey just because we want people to be defensible. Um, and then we're going to take everyone except for. Oh, wait. Looks like maybe just the cavalry can move out. That's okay. Step 
forward to here. also have this army and their job is to take Magdeburg which I believe is right there yeah okay um, so we're going to I want to stand right where that princess is actually so I'm going to take all of the infantry and bug them along. Move further away, thank you. And he's going to go stand right there. I'm just going to take that down next turn. Then we're going to go up here to Riga. This guy's about to desert, but we can actually still make use of him. We're going to put him on the boat, bring him over here to Stockholm, and besiege there. And he will be able to carry out that battle before deserting at the end of the turn. So that's a uh, load off my mind there. This guy I don't think is capable of doing anything useful. Um, unless there's... An, yeah, but he can't take that down. So we're not going to worry about that. Next, we're going to take this guy. And we're going to put all of the infantry right here. And we're going to besiege Sarkle. They've got a lot of horses, so this is going to be a, an interesting one, actually. At Yerevan, we've actually been given these four units of, of uh, light cavalry, and we're going to use those to do some cool stuff. Um, so we are going to send two of them over here to Trebizond, and they're going to really get there on turn six. And then this guy's going to go to Tbilisi. He can take that down very easily. Um, let's see if we can... It's not a bad deal, but we'll, we'll, we should be able to sort that out eventually. Um, let's put a mustering hall here that we can build peasants next turn. Next, we're going to sort out the Middle East here. This is honestly a little bit nerve-wracking, uh, just because they have some larger garrisons, and we're going to split our forces up a bit to be able to handle it. But first, we're going to bug out the boats. We need those for some other movements. <coughs> uh, so, everything's going to split up. <coughs> the horse archer is going to come down to Acre. Take that down, that's just infantry. So that's an easy one. Um, then this cavalry guy is going to step forward. We're going to take four units of archers and one of those pilgrims. And they're going to step forward and they're going to stand right there at Damascus. This general is going to come and be the besieger. Uh, this unit of archers has just a little bit more movement than everyone else uh, because he was already standing there. He didn't get off the boats at the beginning of the turn. So he's going to light the way for these guys, so they can all stand right there, and then he's going to stand right there. We're going to come back for Antioch, he's got a lighter garrison and some of the coast, so if need be we can bring another army in from somewhere else. Alright, let's uh, quick save. <clears throat> we're going to move this boat to here, and I'll explain why in a second. Uh, we're going to take these boats, and we're going to go up here to pick up this diplomat we're going to bring him back and then his job next turn is to talk to Egypt so we're going to put him there with that boat and then we're going to take the two bugged ones back and we're going to go out to the west We're 
going to go pick up one of these diplomats. And his job is going to be to go to Poland. Stop right there. Take one boat back. One of these bug boats. Head back to Lisbon. And then this guy is headed to Denmark. Last bug boat. <clears throat> and we're going to go over to Genoa. Where we're going to pick up this diplomat that we'd recruited a while back. I'm going to bring him over this way because there's a slight chance that the Moors will actually take one of these settlements after we do what we're about to do uh, and we want to be able to have a diplomat on hand to um, to talk to them and then get Marrakesh back <clears throat> the last thing in the Middle East is to take care of this guy everyone's going to get off refresh the crusade <clears throat> And then we're going to have uh, you besiege, and the rest of you guys stand over here. We're going to take these four units of mercenary crossbowmen, and we're going to go fight this army. Now the bounce power is my favor, but uh, they get a lot of cavalry. It's actually very, very difficult to win on the map. So we're going to auto resolve. We're going to take do that with minimal casualties, um, and we are going to execute. <coughs> Unfortunately, that means he is going to retreat back into Cordoba, uh, which means we'll have to fight him again. Don't really want to do that, uh, but we will, yeah, because we'll still be able to take it down. So that's Cordoba. Um, that's why we make the Moors mad, and there's a slight possibility, I've looked ahead, that they might step into Marrakesh, and there's nothing I can recruit here. Um, so if that happens, then we're going to uh, talk to their armies, and we're going to redo the diplomacy, get Marrakesh back, and then we're going to take Cordoba. Uh, so that's just how that needs to happen. Next we're going to sort out this situation over here in France. Uh, we're going to merge up this army here, including these two units from Angers. And then the cavalry is going to come over here, besiege Rennes. And the infantry is going to go with him there. This guy has a little bit more movement than others, so we're going to put him here. And then he's going to bug them along to there. The general is going to besiege Bordeaux. And then, of course, we have the Timbuktu and Arguin army. There. All right. I think that we are mostly sorted out. So it's just down to the administration stuff. We are sitting at 51 regions. On the end turn, we're going to get whew, like 15 or 20. Um, so we're in a really good spot for that. Uh, there's nothing we can really do with this army. Yeah, they're just archers. Um, let's go through this. the lists. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> yep. 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 
<clears throat> yep. 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 A lot of captains. Okay. Alright, so that's all those. Let's, we need to do some key recruitment, some some spots. Stalf them. I need to get two units of horses. They're gonna go to Mets. Um Pamplona is just gonna need some more reinforcements no matter what, because I think that the Portuguese are actually gonna attack me there. Um let's see. Um Smyrna needs to recruit some peasants or else it's going to revolt. Um, Thessalonica, we're going to try and build some dirt roads because we're eventually we might have to land an army here up to, to um, Sophia. Nicaea, I don't think can recruit anything. But we'll maybe we'll try to spy. That might be able to get us in the gates. Although we probably have to draw up there anyways. We'll go ahead and build a spy for the moment. Um, Braun, can we recruit any good cavalry yet? Yes, we can. That, that'll be helpful. Um, let's see. We're converting that. That's right. Should need to recruit anything up here. Um, that should be fine. Um, should need to recruit anything here. That's basically all done. Um, can we recruit here yet? No, we can't. Let's go ahead and do that. Um... Uh, let's see, let's see. Mustering Hall there for sure. Uh, this one's going to be tough to save. They really don't like me. Yeah, yikes. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll do what we can to save Marrakesh. Uh, Mustering Hall here in Granada. If we have money, I'd like to buy some cavalry here, but I just don't know that this is going to be the launching point for any armies. I've, I've tried to get a man of the hour off of this guy and then get to Leon, but I can't do it in one turn. And remember, with Catholic factions, we've got to eliminate them in the turn we start attacking them, or else we're going to get, because the Pope really hates me at this point. So the moment he thinks that I'm off to a Catholic faction, he's going to give me a, a um, cease or get excommunicated notice, and we can't really afford that at this point. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, Riga, well, let's go ahead and convert you. That will help us keep public order. Um, you're going to need to be able to recruit someone at the end turn. Novgorod is a mess. Um, we're going to recruit that. Um, otherwise we're going to have to do a little save spamming to make sure that it doesn't revolt. Um, Kaffa, you're going to lose that guy, so let's go ahead and convert you there. Um, let's see, let's see. Roads. Okay, we want to build a bit of mustering hall, so what can we get rid of? Um, in the building, in the towns up here, we'll get rid of a grain exchange. Um, so we can build that mustering hall. Um, and then, what else needs to happen? Yeah, you're building a mustering hall, that's good. Okay, we're getting 30,000. Next turn, that'll actually be higher because of uh, the new settlement of taxes. Um, but we're getting a lot in tribute. <laughs> more than half that is, well, more than half the net is going to be tribute, which is really good. So we are in a very good spot, I believe, here. I'm just going to quickly rifle through the settlements, make sure I know about everything that's going on. These places are not happy. It's okay, 70s. We can deal with 70s. Um, and then the 60s, we'll, we'll recover. Yeah, 
I think I'm gonna help, yikes. Um Marrakesh is really a pain point. <clears throat> Right now the capital is Vienna. I think we'll go ahead and leave that there for the moment. Um, and we'll see how that turn goes. All right, wow. That took absolutely forever. We had to get it to go without losing either Thessalonica or Corinth. And a lot of times I click enter and I lose one or both of them. So, it took just a few reloads, but we should be good here. Looking around the map, nothing else seems to be a problem. I think we're good to go to take on England and King William. We shall claim victory in God's name, Move on up. Alright, so this should be pretty easy. We're trying. I just got the one unit of cavalry, so that'll arrive well before everything else. Set up to surround them all. Surround them from all sides. And then I did they run right into the peasants. They seem kind of locked in on the pe on the uh, general there maybe. So let's move you back. Are you gonna pivot? Okay, you go there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, okay, they're gonna try and back out. That's interesting. Yeah, let's catch them. Come on. There he is. He should make it out there, hopefully. Oh, come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. Great. Okay, let's hit these all here. Excellent. Palermo here. This should be really easy. So I want to try and get them through here. Love to be able to get. Oh, okay, he's gonna skip past the. Let's see if we get some good shots on them. Oh, very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, back up, back up, back up. Okay, good. They're going for the cavalry.
close to the plant where this is. You guys can stop. You're not doing anything. Okay, you're done. Yeah, that, 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 uh, that notification was just the, our captain, our general should still be fine, I think. Yeah, yeah, okay, alright, that should be good there. Okay, so Portugal besieged Pamplona. King Laszlo over here, Hungary. Getting stuck up there, right? Okay, all right, everyone's in. Oh, we have a lot of crossbowmen. That's just because that seems to be the most common unit that they give us um, when we get free settlements, which is good because they have, um, I think, armor piercing abilities against heavy cavalry like General's Bodyguard, so that's very helpful. Send you after them. Okay, guys. Uh, I don't like the shower of arrows. That's not very good. Okay, we got that unit routing. How's our general? Where is he? Did we see him? Yeah, he's okay. He's fine. Only half the enemy force remains. Almost there. Okay, so it looks like we got the rebels' turn now, and um, the Moors did not take Marrakesh, and the Byzantines did not take Thessalonica. So those are. Both things I've seen happen as I've previewed the turn ahead, and it's very, very good that they didn't. Alright, 
Alright, this one's going to be a little bit tricky. I maybe should have... Oh, wait, I did. Okay. Uh, I want to make sure I got the mounted sergeants of the besieging army because we're, they're going to have to outrun the Arabic um, cavalry, which they should be able to do. Okay, those are our infantry. We're going to go down, down the hill a little bit. Oh, please make it. Don't get caught. Um, okay, I think they're good. Yeah, they're good. Okay. I'm going to try and use the archers where we can, but it looks like they're kind of depleted. there. Okay, the routing, that's great. Oh, oh, get them, get them, get them. Shoot. They're good, they're turning. Oh, you guys haven't even come in yet. Okay, alright. Great. Sweet. Camels. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, ah, they're going to come back, okay? I do not want my general here to die. That would be very bad. Switch you guys there. Okay, they're routing great. Okay, we want to get everyone routing and keep them routing before any of these guys get back to the town square. That would be not good. Oh, there's the okay, generals and the archer unit. That's Interesting. Oh, bad charge. Wow. Oh, what are you guys doing? Where are you? Oh, my gosh. Back up, back up. Oh, shoot. Don't die, please. Get around there, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Oh, very nice, very nice. Oh my gosh, get out of there, get out of there. Didn't realize he was already all the way back here. Okay. I don't have everyone routing all at once. one. Alright, easy. Run dead at the map one. Of 
Try not to take any casualties here, but yeah, we did okay. Eh. That's alright. I think we still have some more use for these guys. We'll see though. Close, the not close enough. No longer ours. The enemy have taken them. Fate has been kind. The day is ours, Lord. The enemy. All right, defeated. this one will be tricky. This is take two on this one. First one, I lost my general. I'd like to be able to keep him. See if we can drop some of these guys on their way in. And if we can shoot down him, that would be fantastic. Whoa. Man, what are y'all shooting at? Okay, they're already routing. That's great. This is the general unit, so he's going to be a little trickier. Let's see if we can drop him. Perfect. Okay, let's... See if we can get the rest of this army here. This is gonna be tricky to get everyone going all at once. We only got two units of cavalry. And that's dreadful positioning right there. Um let's see if we can go. Oh shh. Okay, there's some camels right there. See if we can 
get you guys up the hill, maybe. Ooh, come on. Don't get hit caught by this beer militia. Okay, they're routing, they're routing. Okay, let's move in the right direction. Lots of white flags. One more flag. I thought there's probably that guy. In. Oh, he's. There we go. Great. This one might be even harder because I have only the one unit of cavalry. Oh, and they're on the wrong side of this. Oh, shoot. Let's see. Looks like the infantry came out first, so that's good. Please don't get caught. Oh, no. Stopped. Oh my gosh, they're gonna get caught. They're gonna get caught. Okay, let's see. And this is gonna be tricky because they're all missile cavalry, and so they kind of just want to skirmish. Oh, Rowdy, okay. Easy. And that's the general unit right there. They're going to be a little more difficult. Oh, good. Perfect. Good, okay, alright, alright. Oh, come on, guys. I need a better charge than that. Some white flags. Uh, he turned around in the back. That's not anything. He turned around as well, right there. Keep the charge moving. Get the spear militia. Flank them. Let's get those archers. Oof, it's a bit 
of a slug. Alright, okay. Get there routing. Who's not routing? Ah, no one's not routing. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, 23? Not bad. Okay, those are the two that I was most concerned about. on a 6x speed, huh? Shoot, okay. Well, that was disastrous, but we might still be able to salvage it. Because now we have some spearmen that are actually going to be able to stick it to them. Okay. Turn around. Turn around. Where are my spearmen? formation for all of you guys. Say so, man. Our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Back up, back up, back up. Okay, let's send in the spears here. Okay. I think that's two units of theirs routing. Trying to get all of these cavalry units going is going to be a challenge. Oh good. 
That should make things a lot easier. Oh, we gotta end this before we get to the town square. Cannot have that. Just this one unit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, they turned around. Shoot. If we can, our army is tiring. Shoot. The enemy are badly flooded. They have lost half their men. Okay, let's pull back out. Just finish mopping up those guys. They're gonna do that. This is annoying. Don't want to have to go in there. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy. Okay, we're gonna go into Skeletron here and um, kind of blockade the entrance if we can. I'd like for the spearmen to kind of take point on this if we can. If you guys go in, don't go in there, you're going to route. The battle is in our favor if we remain true and wholehearted. 
Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Stay outside there because they're going to route if they leave. Wow, that one was painful. Fortunately, I think Bogar is not too bad, so we should be okay for the next battle. And that's really all we need to do. But, yeesh, okay. Alright, this one's going to be easy. Hill we can use back here. I was initially thinking that this unit may not do anything else useful, but I might be able to train them along to Trebizond, so if we can avoid taking too many casualties here, we will. But I'm probably okay with taking one volley from the archers if it means we can get them a little bit closer to us. Is something we can definitely live with. There's no gate on that side, that's interesting. Okay. Going to the back gate, oh, that's interesting. Alright, on to Stockholm. This guy is on his last leg. He'll disappear at the end of this end turn. This is the last, is the last piece of these guys. So we need to remember to exterminate this if we can. Just thanks for the full night of full unit of mailed knights.
Alright, time to go. It's okay, they can take as many casualties as they need to. Terminate that one. Alright, here we go. One yet of Meld Knights to worry about. If we can get the archers up here on the ridge. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. Can I get you guys over there fa that fast? before they get to us. Oh, turn around, guys. Do you really not get any volleys off, guys? Okay, now they're shooting, but they're encircled. See if we can route all of these guys before the general turns around. We didn't actually get him. Okay, one unit routing, two units routing. This is a brutal kind of garrison, huh?
good news is I believe that the captain is in that unit of cavalry. So if we get to him first, and they'll, they'll charge at us, so there's that. Um, then we should be all right. Let's just run into the, the pikemen on the sides. their captain in here somewhere. There he is. I'd like to protect my captain because he's only got six guys. Second. Oh, don't don't let me away. Great. Alright, we need that. Okay. okay. Now this is gonna be kind of tricky. Crossbowmen, that should be a good uh, warm up. More crossbowmen, got some armored sergeants back there. Great. Back out again. Back in again. Great. Back out. Okay, then next to the armored sergeants, they're going to be a little more tricky. Which side are they facing? Them. Ooh, there's a lot of heavy cavalry. Uh, Flemish pikemen, Flemish pikemen, and more Flemish pikemen. This is great. Okay. Two at a time. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh my gosh. Yikes. Shoot. Okay. That was not good. By the Almighty Lord, for yeah, a military genius okay. can bring us victory from this disgrace. Okay, let's use the infantry here. Oh, we got a unit of Flemish pikemen running, that's great. Come on, come on, come on, get around, get around. Oh no, don't route, guys. Shoot. Man, that was a big unit that routed, too. Yeesh. Okay, you can't fight them alone. 
alone. I'm gonna come back. Oh shoot, come on man. Get out of there. Shoot. Oh good, they're running again. See if we hit them in the back here. Don't turn around. Let's see if we can. Let's let them get past you, man. Lord, preserve us. We have lost half of our men. Only intervention uh, by the Almighty Lord or a military genius shoot, man. can bring us victory from this disgrace. Oh, that was a good charge. Yes. Okay. All right. Where are you? Oh, no, no, shoot, shoot, don't fight, don't fight, don't, oh my gosh. Yeah, I think we've lost this one. Oh, okay, alright. Yeah, but I just can't kill them before they get back there. Bring these around over. The walls are no longer ours. Our army is tiring. Okay. Okay, great. Fire on them. Oh shoot, they came back. Ah, they get them instead. Back up, back up, back up. Okay, this might be possible. Let's see. Let's 
the whole unit of pikemen down. Okay, stop firing, save your ammo. Walk up, finish them off. Snap where'd the crossbowmen go? Oh, they're over here. Okay, alright. We got armor sergeants, and we got, oh, okay, a full 46 of. This can be tight. Oh my goodness. Wow. That battle probably shouldn't have been that hard, but it's, it's really okay that it is. this time around, I think. Please. Oh great, that's the general, so we can knock him down. If we can clean these guys up here, that would be very helpful. So we don't end up causing a pain later. Actually, let's have you go out that way. Okay, let's start with the, oh, those armored sergeants. into them, but the routing, that's good. Okay. This one should be looking to be a little bit easier. 
Oh, the pikemen. Oh, not the pikemen. Do not want to charge their front there. Okay, charge their back there. Come on. Some reinforcements in this one. This unit's up. Oh, shoot, routing. Great, okay. Now we can come over here, finish up. Oh, those guys came back. That's not great. Oh my gosh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, jeez. Shoot. Nope, stop. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Again, wow, they're useless. Okay, that should be good. Okay, where's the next unit? Still left. You. There's got to be that cavalry guy. Yeah, they're the kid there. Right. My lord, born of Christendom. Okay, that's a little better. Cavalry versus all infantry. General. Nice. 
Nice. The enemy general is dead. We have sent the idiot to hell. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let brain remain the sun. Okay. Perfect. Our men have slain the enemy general. Now his men will lose heart. Okay, uh, we're going to send everyone over here. What do we have here? Crossbowmen. This is Spear Mush. Okay. Let's hit them. Turn around, I guess. Yeah. Praise the Almighty. This is a clear. The day is ours, Lord. The enemy. Oh, no. What happened here? We have conquered your orders, number one. Oh, no. All right. So, let's see. We did not plan this out properly in Smolensk. Did not sally out, and ordinarily I think it would be okay, especially since I think we could find another way of getting to Kiev by turn by turn seven. Um, but that is really a problem because that's what we got our mission for. Um, so I need to think about how this affects things. But let's uh, just run through the notices here. Um, yep, that's okay. Yep. Yep. Alright, 
and know where those guys were. They were in Stockholm. These guys were at Kaffa. And these guys were in Helsinki, so that's okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Only an adoption can. Okay, I'm gonna have to think about this. I really don't wanna have to go to redo all of those battles. And I'm also not sure that there was another way to set this up, because remember, with blood, these guys were moving bugged along. So I don't know that there was a different unit that we could have put there. Um, so we may just have to cut our losses and assault this city. Uh, okay. Um, yes, I'll be thinking about this. All right, I have carefully considered all my options, and I've come to the conclusion that uh, this is unfortunate, but it is salvageable and not worth going back and redoing all 20 of those battles that we did in the end turn or whatever that was. Um, so there is a way that we can still hit our goal of seven turns, um, and so we are going to keep playing from this point. I uh, started with this adoption candidate. There also was a, a guild, which I think I accepted. It went to Genoa, um, and I was not... I, reload the file and the message was not there anymore so it's, i think it's this one uh okay uh so what we're gonna do is this adoption candidate is set to go to this guy so we need to put him on the boats temporarily um and then we're gonna change the capital to brawn all right there he goes <clears throat> okay we're gonna start this turn with all the diplomacy things that we need to do so we're gonna start there with egypt and we're going to need to get them 4,000. We're going to do our normal deal here. Give us both these settlements. And, uh, yeah, both of these settlements hate me, but that's a challenge for later the turn. Uh, next, we're going to Denmark. Oh, wait, we gotta do... Get the money first. Um, 3,000 enough? No, it's not. Oof. Really? Okay, in that case, we're just going to ask for a lower amount of tribute, because we're going we're gonna to limit them next turn, I think. So we're only getting one tribute off of them anyways. There we go. Also, you're going to have to excuse my voice here. I'm fighting through a sore throat. All right. So we did that. Um, actually, I'd meant to off ask for <clears throat> trade rights, but oh well. We would have only got me another 2,000 florins. But we have Hamburg. Lots of new cavalry, so that'll be fun. <clears throat> the last faction we need to talk to is Poland. And unfortunately, they're a little bit elusive. I was hoping that they would take Thorn, so we talked to them. But they didn't. They were, they were unsuccessful. So we're going to move down this way. <clears throat> There's a captain here. Um, and I think that we'll be able to talk to either him or another army next turn. It kind of depends on what they do. Um, yeah, so that's the diplomacy. We're going to shift down here to Cordoba. Um, and we're going to take down this settlement. Uh, 
this is going to be a little bit of an ugly battle just because um, we have so many crossbowmen and not a lot of actual infantry. So we will have to figure that out. Um, I don't want you guys holding the ladders. If we can find... Yeah, I'm going to need to the spearmen through the main gate. And then ideally we find a wall that's not... Because they don't have a lot of troops, so we might be able to get a wall where we can sneak in. Um, some uh, crossbowmen. We go out in the sides here. Um, and then we're going to do both rams in here because they think they probably have towers. Um, so there's a decent chance that one of these will go up in flames. So we're just going to both in. Um, all right, let's see. <clears throat> We've got spear militia there. And desert archers. Over here, okay. Alright, so we're gonna do. And we go. Around the front if we can. They don't have anyone here. Well, that's a big oversight, okay. It's going to make getting in the front gate pretty painless. The ladders are now in place. Walls are no match for valor and force of arms. Okay, so they're going to get in. That's good. We want to minimize casualties because we do have another thing for this whole army to do next turn. Or actually, later this turn. The battering ram is in Couple place. things, actually. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. All right, we got guys on here. We all up yet? have done well the gates have fallen okay let's get all of you lot in here let's see if we can get you around there prove their worth today the enemy's walls belong to us now We have over here Desert Cav Desert Cavalry. Let's have you guys fight them if we can. Cautious here, General. Oh, good. <clears throat> okay, we broke the spearman. That's very good. Just make sure none of them get through. Forging a worthy victory. Uh, 
Oh, who's routing? Oh, okay. Oops. Units are still doing nothing. Oh, let's get him, get him, get him. Get him. Back here. Okay, unit of cavalry. Okay, they're gonna go out that way. That's interesting. to not have a <clears throat> battle to the death with the bodyguard if we can avoid it Unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Really like to get some shots off here. Okay, he's at the back, we're fine. Oh shoot. Oh no, I didn't realize they were there. We have lost control of the city. <clears throat> okay, let's actually pull back. I really want to preserve a little bit more of my cavalry. Let's pull back. Uh, this is a bit of a mess.
Man, these guys are bugging. Men have slain the Great. Certain general. <clears throat> now we must send his men running back to the desert. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. My lord, our men have taken control of the city. And siege battles really suck sometimes. This unit right here is like all split up around here so that they so they won't attack it properly. Yikes, okay. <clears throat> Alright, so that's the Moors out of the picture. So the next thing we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to take down this unit, this um, army of infantry for our free general. Alright, they're all infantry, so we're just going to run them around up to this hill. Shoot him with the mercenaries.
see how many shots we can get out on these guys. in this back unit. <clears throat> nice. Lord. <clears throat> men have slain the enemy general. Now his men will lose heart. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. Oh, nice. It's unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are weary. Praise the Almighty. Great. Our enemy has lost this. All of Christendom will. All right, Blasio. The day is ours. The enemy are beaten. All right, now we're going to form everyone up together. And we're going to join the crusade again. And now this is the old quadruple movement point, uh, quadruple movement point general. Uh, we haven't been able to take much advantage of it just because we're usually attacking Catholic factions, and that requires us to go off the crusade before we start a fight. Uh, but since we got a new general and he was off crusade, and now he's on crusade, he's got double the double movement points. So we're going to actually take him and go all the way to Leon, which can be up here. Stand right there. Hire one unit of pilgrims. Then leave the crusade. And attack the city there. So those sally out. Uh, I would love to get more mercenaries, but this is the only one they would let me do and still sally out. So we will, we will deal with that battle later. We're going to come back to this general because I've still got to figure out a lot of the nuances of this. But we want to be able to take down Lisbon, and it's a little bit finicky. Um, what's not finicky is that this guy is going to be able to go take down Zaragoza. Yeah, that should sally out. This guy, put him right here. We'll see. Might be able to get an army here. I'm not. Not 100% positive. Next, we're going to go back to that new general we hired at Braun. And we're going to do this. And we're going to win this battle right here with just the mounted sergeants. Where are they? Oh, they're up there. Okay. Are they going to move or are they going to stay there? They're moving. Maybe. Good. Okay. Did not want to have to fight them on that hill. Alright. So we got all these infantry to throw at them. Oh, they are going to stay there, aren't they? Ah, don't do that. Shoot. All right. Well, that things makes that makes things a little bit more painful. Good news is they have no archers, so it's not going to be that bad. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. Okay, now they're retreating. I don't know what they're doing. Alright, well, let's go ahead and hit these guys. We've got the uphill advantage, and the general's over here. There 
Okay, we got one unit rerouting. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. And they're rebels, so we don't need to run them down. We just need to win. See if we can get a good downhill charge on them here. Oh, get out of there. Don't get sandwiched by the spears. Doing well here. We're taking very few casualties. I think like two unit, two guys out of this unit. Nice charge, nice charge. Back up. Oh, they're routing. Okay, great. Only half the enemy force remains. The enemy, please. All Great. of Christendom will be awed. Perfect. God has granted his faithful this victory. Now, these guys are all going to join up here. Everyone's going to crusade. And then both about the same amount of movement. This guy's gonna go up here to Iassi. This guy's gonna come down here. Everyone's going to join up. We're going to all crusade. This guy's going to go off towards Iassi. And uh, this guy is going to come down here. Yeah, we're going to get a sally out there. Everyone else is going to stand right there. I think we can get some, yeah, we can get some backup for next turn too, because they're going to need to go to Sophia. This army, um, we're just going to go ahead and send this guy ahead to scout things out, is going to go to Poland. I'm going to stand right there, because there's a chance, if I really can't get this diplomacy thing to happen, then we may have to take both Krakow and Halach. Um, so we just got to position ourselves so that we can get to both if we need to. Um, up here, this whole army is going to rejoin. This depleted unit of Knights Hospitaller is going to go draw out the garrison at Thorn. Everyone else is going to be headed off towards Vilnius. Stand right there. Orders, 
All right, next we're going to sort out Magdeburg. We're going to have everyone kind of stand there. We're going to bring these uh, Meld Knights along just because we can. Refresh. Resort. Stand there. Stand there. Draw them out. Alright, we've skipped over Mets. That's going to change now. We're going to move them there. You're going to besiege. You're going to back them up. Over here, we're still headed to Trebizond. So we're going to bring along the Tibalizzi guy. I'm going to movement bug him over here. So we'll have three units. Maybe we'll take that down. Next, we're going to go to Constantinople. We've got this army of guys that's about to desert, but we're going to save them by creating a new general. We're going to attack the Byzantines. That's all. Infantry should be real easy. I don't even think these guys are going to get here in time to make it be worth it. Nice. That should be it right there. Easy. Guy got away. Three guys got away. There we go. Beautiful. New general. Unfortunately, this spy cannot get into. Con he can get in, but he won't open the gates, so he doesn't do anything. Uh, so instead we're going to do a um, sally out uh, and we are going to recruit um, all these mercenaries because they're not really going to do anything else. Um, and we're going to put everyone on these boats. Stand here. Trigger unlimited movement. Okay, and then we're going to put everyone except for those guys back on the boat. You're going to stand there. You're going to stand there. And we'll get a sally out from him. Okay, now we have unlimited movement, but we have a boat blocking us, so we're going to fight these pirates, kill them, and then we have just enough movement to bug ourselves up to Kiev. And then these guys are now going to take Kiev since these guys messed up, um, so that's what the, that's going to happen right there. Over at Sarkol, this one's pretty straightforward, merging everyone up. This army got really decimated in that fight. Um, but thankfully, they've still got eight units to make the crusade possible. Um, we're going to stand right there. 
Join that up. Alright, now we've got a lot of forces to kind of reunify here. Um, we're going to start with this guy. Um, and we are going to actually have to bring two of the bug boats around to keep this moving. We're going to do this very carefully. Don't know what's out here yet. Haven't really looked. Plotting course now, my lord. Plotting course now, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Plotting course okay, now. Okay, coming over here. Your orders, noble one. And then we're actually going to recruit another boat, because we might need them. We'll see. Yes. Come up to here. Bless you, lord. Get these guys back. They can be saved. Um, and then we're going to put everyone... On the boats. Trigger unlimited movement. We will engage them honorably, my lord. And then we're going to put everyone on here. Plotting course now, my lord. We shall continue tomorrow, my lord. This is as far as And this guy is going to go take on Valencia. Of the fleet, my lord. Full sail. Plotting course now, my lord. Then we're going to come up here now, and we're going to sort out all of these guys. Now, my lord. Full your orders, noble one. It is an honor to lead this army. Your orders, noble one. Um, and then orders, get on the boats here. Reconnect with everyone here. Okay, we got everyone, the whole gang back together. And then, just for safety, we're going to trigger movement again. We got a lot more for these butts to do still. Alright, now, this is where I don't want to mess this up. Because we have two boats. Yes, my lord. Yes. Your orders, noble one. All right, so we're going to add another boat to that. And we're going to re-trigger the glitch here. Um, and then I think what we're going to do is we're going to take... Um, minus him and uh, you're gonna get on the boats and we've got two more spots that really need substantial armies the first one of those Iconium we're gonna take these two boats back. Oh, okay. Plotting course now, my lord. Full sail. Plotting course now, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Plotting course now, my lord. Plotting course now, my lord. Yes, my lord. Plotting course now, my lord. We're actually gonna go sort this army first. Up here. Because he's going to give us another... Well, let's join the crusade. Ah, yeah, he's going to give us two more boats. Alright. 
Let's uh, re-trigger unlimited movement. Back on the boats. Over to here. Um, we're going to... Yeah, we'll leave him with those boats that aren't bugged. And when I come back to here... And this army... Is going to go all the way to Antioch. Dropping anchor until morning. We shall continue tomorrow, my lord. This is as far as we go today, my lord. We shall continue tomorrow, my lord. This is as far as we go today, my lord. This is as far as we go today, my lord. This is as far as we go today, my lord. We shall continue tomorrow, my lord. Alright, you're gonna stop right there. Okay. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Alright, now, in the Holy Lands... In the Holy Lands, we're going to rebuild this army. We're going to need some extra units, because they got utterly destroyed at Aleppo. And then we're going to move forward to Edessa, and this one's going to be a hard one. It really is. They've got a lot of cavalry. Um, there's at least another unit in those question marks. So, it's going to be a tricky one. But, we can make it happen. At Damascus, we're going to reform this unit. Collect this unit from Acre. Refresh the Crusade. I was really hoping that Egypt would take Jerusalem, and I would be able to buy that off of them, but they also failed. Um, so we are going to have to do it like this. There we go. There we go. Nothing to recruit there. That stinks. Hmm, okay. Mosul. We can finally recruit some peasants. So that's really good. We're going to build some... I don't even know if roads are going to help us at this point. We still need to get to Baghdad, and that's going to have to be a concern for next turn, is figuring out how to get a general there, probably. Um, Eurofont's going to be okay. They're at 70%. Um, Tbilisi. Mustering Hall for you. Yeah, that'll have to work. Sarkle, Mustering Hall. All right, up here, this guy's uh, going to be able to get to Moscow this turn. So let's refresh the Crusade. We'll walk across here. And then we're going to have the army stand at the far end. You're going to stand at the close end. Oh, boy, this army, this army. Gotta make sure we create some siege equipment. So we can assault that in turn six, and that'll kind of be the end of the road for him. Nope, grab. We can finally recruit some garrisons, so that's gonna be a game changer. Helsinki, we can recruit some peasants. Riga, we can build a mustering hall. We should have done the last turn. Stockholm, we should convert it to a castle. Um, yeah, you're fine. We don't really need to do anything with you. Um,. All right, we got a few more armies to sort out, so let's take care of those. Oh, actually, that's what I'm thinking of it. Let's um, recruit that guy in Thessalonica. And let's build that in Corinth. Build that in Rhodes. Um, who else needs some attention? Vienna needs attention. That's because your tax rate is too high. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, there's a possibility that might help. I think that's probably three turns, but if I'm just planning for the worst case scenario in case we get there. 
Um, the church there. Mustering Hall there. Can we recruit here? Yeah. Um, Stauffen, recruit. Let's see, you're gonna need, yeah, you need some help. Um, big yikes, okay. Um, church, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna need to watch out for Dijon. Okay, the Belgian and Dutch cities. London will be okay. York, convert. Edinburgh, low tax rate. Inverness, okay. Convert Dublin. Carnivon, Mustering Hall, we can recruit that too. Um, Ren, drop the tax rate. Build a church maybe those um, Bordeaux I don't think we'll be able to do anything with horses from there but yes. we'll go ahead and move this boat over just in case okay Toledo there's a possibility we could be able to do something next turn with those uh, this one's a mess um, build the priest about all we can do that's just there will be a lot of saves coming. Algiers can build peasants. That's good. Peasants. Spears. Spears. Really? Well, I really don't want to spring for those, but oh well. Um, yeah, this one's going to be rough. Um, down here, yes, my lord. we're going to reform this whole army. And we had to do it like that because the adoption candidate wouldn't get completed if I tried to do the whole refreshing crusade thing. Adoption mechanics are very, very temperamental. Um, let's see, we're going to step ahead. Oh, shoot. <sighs> this guy is going to be able to move forward here. The rest of the army is going to stand at the end point. He's going to stand at the close tile. We're going to besiege that. All right, let's do a little bit of housekeeping. Oh, actually, let's do this before I forget. Reform that and then build seed equipment. Yeah, that makes me so angry. Okay, we can finally recruit some stuff here. We can recruit here. We can build a mustering hall there. We're going to convert that to a castle. Up here, we're going to build that. Here, we're going to drop the tax rate. Go ahead and convert that for the heck of it. Build that. Convert to a castle. Um, drop the tax rate. These guys might be a little bit of a challenge to hang on to, but we'll make it work. Um, 
Just building stuff where we can. This guy's going to be tricky. It's just going to be on low. Public order. We'll make it work. Build one of those. Build a church. Build that. And then we might be able to get him into action. I doubt it, but we'll try. Same over here. Um, we will actually invest in some more mailed knights here. Might be able to use that army for something good. Marrakesh is just a disaster. Um, yeah, we'll do that. That's not going to do much. Get the priest. Algiers can finally recruit peasants. Peasants. Spears. Yeah. Um, let's see. Can you... No, okay. So we're just going to send... That to there, and that to there. We'll do that. Um, we're getting to the point where two turn things are starting to be unhelpful, because on turn seven we're hoping to be done. These guys are all okay. You just need your tax rate dropped. Bullet Diplomat here. I don't think he can get to crack out. I don't think he'll be able to do anything useful. But just in case, we're already recruiting there. That's great. Thessalonica, we're going to do that. Corinth, we're going to do that. Uh, you guys are all useless. We're doing what we can. We're doing what we can. Yeah, this is going to be a mess. And turn. Okay, this army needs to reform. And we... Sh I would have liked this earlier, but the adoption mechanics are really temperamental. And if we did all this before accepting the adoption candidate, he was it was not going to get completed. Um, oh, yikes. Ah, shoot. Okay. Alright, we're going to reform this army. And this is a little... I would have liked to have done this earlier, but the adoption mechanics are really temperamental. And if we had done it, like, reef, done the Jihad, or the Crusade, then, then uh, the adoption wouldn't have gone through. Okay, so we're going to land the army first. And they're actually going to be able to go... Um, I think there maybe. Oh no, okay. They can't go as far as the channel. That's okay. We'll we'll figure that out next turn. <clears throat> okay. Next, we're going to get the doge back going. Next, we're going to get the doge back and running. Get him these two, you know, some mercenaries because he was absolutely decimated in the last battle. And this next, uh... This next battle is going to be just as hard, if not harder. So we're going to have to be prepared for that. Um, we are going to move this guy down here. Reform right here. Grab the guy from Acker. I kind of was hoping that Egypt would take Jerusalem so that we could get it off them that way. Uh, but instead, we're going to have to do it like this. Which is fine. Stand right there. Up north in Moscow, um, this one I actually test a couple times because I really didn't want to have the same problem as Smolensk. And uh, you would think, based on the garrison, has got one cavalry and three infantry, that they would sally. They didn't when I put the general there. So instead, we're going to make sure we're all good here. 
I'm just gonna put these 53 uh, pilgrims as the besieging army and everyone else right there. With this army, ugh, so frustrating. Reform, join the crusade again. I'm gonna make sure we have some siege equipment. While we're up here, let's uh, start doing some administration. Helsinki, build that. Riga is going to be kind of rough. Um, uh, what do we do? Uh, mustering Hall, that's right. Stockholm, let's convert it. Inverness, group that. Edinburgh, drop the tax rate. Um, York, we'll convert it. Let's do double and two, why not? Nope, that. Carnivon, build a unit. London, drop the tax rate. Bruges and Antwerp are going to be rough. Um, they're just We can't recruit anything here. So we'll drop the tax rates and hope for the best. Paris will recruit some stuff. Reims will recruit. Stauffen will recruit. Bern will recruit. Dijon is going to be yeah, just not great no matter how we slice it. Angers will build a unit. Ren will drop the tax rate and build a church. It's getting to the point where two turn things are just not really practical. <laughs> so it'll be turn seven before they're done. Uh, Bordeaux will build that. And we'll bring the boat over here in case it makes sense to bring that unit over. Build something at Tulu. Uh, Granada, we can build peasants. Tol Toledo, we're actually going to buy everything we can because we might actually be able to make use of them. We'll see. We'll drop the tax rate at Cordoba here. Build a church. It's Think all we can do on that one, unfortunately. Marrakesh is just a mess. Uh, yeah, there's really nothing good. <laughs> nothing good here. Um, we'll go ahead and start that up, but it's not gonna not gonna help us. We're just gonna need to do some saves coming. Build some peasants at Algiers. JCO peasants. Marseille. Italian militia. Genoa spearmen. Milan can't build anything. Um, neither can Bologna. So we're going to do a little shuffle. Spears down to there. Crossbows down to Florence. <clears throat> and uh, Milan will live, I think. Uh, Innsbruck, we'll build that. Nuremberg. Church. Frankfurt. Drop the tax rate. These guys are okay. Vienna, we're going to lower the tax rate. Um... Let's see, we can't build a diplomat here, can we now? So, it's 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 hit or miss. Sometimes we get the princess to talk to Vienna next turn, which should be nice. Um, but we'll we'll figure out a way to talk to Poland no matter what. Uh, we'll go ahead and build that just in case. I don't think it's going to help much. Already recruiting there. Already recruiting there. These guys are all okay. We're gonna do that just in case. Um. Yeah, so Corinth, Thessalonica finally can recruit stuff. Nicaea, we'll drop the tax rate. Build one of those guys. Rhodes, we can finally build peasants, I think. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, we don't need that. Um, let's see. Aleppo, let's build a mustering hall. Damascus, build a church. Acre, mustering hall. Gaza, chapel. Alexandria, church. These cities are going to be rough. All right, let's form this army up here. I would have loved to have done this at the very beginning. I didn't like having to put them all on the boats without redoing the crusade. Um, but that was not going to work. Um, the adoption mechanics are very temperamental. And if you do too many things before accepting it, then it doesn't get completed. And that apparently was the line for them. Actually, stop. We need to be very particular about how we get off the boats here. And we're going to stand right there, which I think might even still be too far for this guy. Yeah, it's okay. We'll catch up with him later. Over here. We're going to start laying the foundations for our final moves. This guy does not need to be in the Timbuktu battle. 
This guy is going to stand here. Besiege. And these guys are all going to bug along to here. Now we're going to throw out this area right here. Uh, we're going to start by getting another general off of old King Roger over here. Um, this is going to be pretty easy auto-resolve, honestly. There we go. Captain Simon. Um, and then he's going to recruit one mercenary, but that's not quite enough. So we'll have to get the old bug boats out for one last ride. Plant them right there. This guy in Palermo is going to refresh his army and recruit all these mercenaries. Put one of the cavalry on here. Or send him to this guy. Now he's able to join the crusade. Uh, he's going to get on here. This is as far as we go today, my Next, we're going to start at this area right here, and we're going to start with uh, taking care of old King Roger over here. We're just going to want to resolve this. We'll get a pretty good result. And then we're going to recruit one mercenary, but that's not quite enough to crusade, so we're going to have to go get the old bug boats for one last ride. And they're going to plant themselves right there. This guy in Palermo is going to refresh his whole army, recruit all these mercenaries, and then we're going to send one of the cavalry on the boats over to join Simon. Then he can crusade. Gets on the boats, and uh, we're going to send him to Tripoli. Which is right there. Take two of the bug boats back. And then this guy is going to get on here. And we're going to go stand right here, uh, and we're going to send one of these mercenary crossbowmen to get a, a draw out, and we're going to give him, let's see, we need eight units, we, need to get, we can give him three. We give him three units there. That leaves eight to come down here for Tunis. General's going to stand there, as usual, and all these guys are going to stand right there. All right, that's that situation sorted. We're gonna drop the tax rate in Naples. We can recruit some guys there, recruit some knights there as well. Um, just doing some more administration. We can get peasants in Mosul. Um, Yerevan's gonna be okay. Let's go ahead and get the priest anyway, though. Um, mustering hall would be great for Tbilisi. Sarkul do mustering hall. What else needs attention? Um, let's go and build a settlement. List for ones that are riding. Vienna, you're good. Uh, roads, yeah. Let's see. Fine, fine, fine. Um, you're good. You'll be trouble. You're fine. Trouble. You're good. You should be good. You should be good. You should be good. You are going to be a problem. Uh, Jetta, we're going to convert to a castle. Okay. Yeah, that's about as good as we're going to get on all of those. Here's what we're going to do with Portugal. Recruit all of these guys here. General stands there. All these guys bug along to here. And we're going to besiege. Um, but basically what we're doing is we're going to draw the ire of this guy. He's going to come um, attack us. Which will be quite annoying to deal with, but... We'll, we'll make it work. A 
The last thing we're going to do, I think, is change the, the capital somewhere a little bit more central. Let's see if uh, in Milan helps Dijon out a little bit. Yeah, that's at 70, so that should be safe. Does it help Marrakesh? A little bit. A little bit. And it's definitely going to hurt Riga a little bit. But we're going to be doing a lot of resaving to get through this end turn. Um, that's just going to have to happen. So, all right, on to the end turn. Uh, let's see, we can um, do a mustering hall here. I've been still at this for a while. <laughs> I've probably done this like f over a hundred times at this point. I'm gonna change the capital just slightly to Florence, which is gonna up the percentage on Miravon from 45 to 50, I think, while keeping Marrakesh at 15. So we're gonna keep at this. Oh my gosh, it actually happened. Wow, that was probably 300 plus reloads. Um, so let me just double check around the map, make sure everything's okay. Still got Marrakesh. Whew. Um, just checking to make sure no armies rebelled or anything crazy like that. We still got that guy at Zaragoza. Oh my gosh. Wow, I've been at that for probably a little over an hour. Just saving and reloading. Saving and reloading. Um, get up here, get up here here you're fine you're good to go good to go all right this guy sometimes I'd seen him revolt that that's good most fools doing okay um, I didn't bring you along that's kind of concerning but no <laughs> they're gonna have to do it that way <laughs> Uh, okay, we'll, we'll survive, I guess. Um, all right. Um, maybe I can... Let me save this. If I can sneakily go back to this quick save and end the turn, maybe I can get that general to join back up. Might not be too late. Let me strike, my lord. And then if we end turn, it should be the same RNG. Ah, no, it's not. Okay, all right. Well, then we'll work with that. Alright, let's try and pull these guys back as far as we can. Get a little bit of distance. Trying to hide the pilgrims a little bit behind the rocks there. 
<clears throat> to blunt the charge of the general's bodyguard. farther. Okay, good. They're routing. Beautiful. Both of those units are routing. Now, if we can just get over here on the general's bodyguard unit. Oh, he's right there. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Come on, guys, right there, right there, right there. Oh, get away. Come on. Shoot, these guys came back. Right there. Yes. The enemy generally is dead. Okay, great. The enemy are badly flooded. And now our general's bodyguard is even with theirs. So let's see if we can wheel around. Okay, they're rowdy already. That's great. Oh, we outnumber them. Great. Okay. Routing. Ho ho ho, yes. Alright. There we go. Oof. Right, we're gonna sack that. Alright, we're gonna go. Alright, this one should be pretty easy comparatively. God will deliver us to victory. Alright, well, let's back up here. And hopefully he's gonna aggro on these guys. Just stand over here, and then I'd like to be able to. Are you still gonna follow me? Or is he gonna go after them yet? The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such okay, all right, we gotta keep moving then. Emerge. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna set up these guys right here, right here, right here. Okay, and now that he's gotten some distance between himself and his own archers, we'll kind of bring these guys out here. Can he aggro? Not this guy yet? Or is he still on them? He still is, okay. All right, well then we'll bring him in range of our archers and that should change his mind. And you can start shooting now if you want. Move, 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 move. Shoot. Oh, come on, guys. Move it. Okay, let's bring him in range. Oh, shoot, not flaming arrows, please. Please. Okay, now charge. Man, you guys are really slow today. The 
enemy king Perfect. is slain. A worthy enemy, but no less a dead for that. We must press our advantage. Okay, and then we'll charge the archers here. The enemy there we go. All of Christendom will... Constantinople, we may need to... No, we should be able to sack it and get troops over from Nicaea. I'm not too worried about that. All right, and that is... Uh, that is the victory conditions, but we're definitely going to keep playing. Interesting. I thought Venice had to get Jerusalem. Okay, here's the Portugal situation. This one's going to be a little interesting. He does have a unit of cavalry, and then we've got two generals to deal with. We shall claim victory in God's name, men! The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Let's see if we can get if we can skirmish with them a little bit here. So we tend to trade pretty well against their archers. Okay, back out, back out. Get out of there. Come on, guys. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Oh, perfect. I pray the course of this battle changes. That's very helpful. Oh, no, can't have that. No. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, 
For the moment, the fortune of battle nice. goes our way. Let the battle is in our favor. Very, very we good. Okay. True and wholehearted. Victory will be ours. Oh my gosh, okay. Man, everyone's routing. Okay, we still got the other general to figure out. Okay, I can't lose this guy. Still got that unit of cavalry. Okay, you go after them, please. Where are you? Yeah, that's not ideal, but I think we'll be okay. They have lost half their men. Um, yep, 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 okay. okay let's, uh, let's fight this smart here. Oh, no, 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 This guy. Just need him to stay alive. What are you guys doing over there? Lord, preserve us. Perfect. We have lost half of our men. Okay, looks like we routed the Mountain Knights, maybe. Oh yes. Slain by our brave soldiers. Okay. Attack while his men mourn their loss. Only half the enemy force remain. Man. It's gonna be a tight one. Stupid bodyguard to route. Uh, we got eighty five percent. I think we did. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, all right. We need to see if we can get a couple more. So they're probably gone, huh? Maybe we can catch up with them. That's okay, we don't need to get them. If we can get those guys before they get to the edge of the map, that would be great. I think we've got it. Oh, we might get them. All right. Nicely done, guys. Ooh, okay, all right. Yeah, that, yeah, we did that. Okay, wow. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that was silly of me. Okay, yeah. Well, we'll have to figure out Lisbon next turn. Okay, we did get Poland talking to us, which is good. Um, we need to get them four thousand. Please continue with your suggestion. Let them give us that map information, regular tribute. You are 
Great. You want trade rights? How much you pay for it? Excellent. Goodbye. I look forward to our next meeting. Yeah, the Fortress thing's annoying, but at the very least, if they're gone, that makes dealing with them a lot less painful because we don't have the Crusade mechanics to worry about. The Pope's not going to excommunicate us, so we've still got turns to spare. So, not great, but we'll we'll manage it. Pull back. Get out of there. Come on, guys. Do not fight that. Did you just get caught? No, stop! Only oh my goodness. Almighty Lord, or a military genius can okay. bring us victory from this disgrace. What are you guys doing? This is pathetic. Wow. That was really, really bad. Okay. Okay, now we're going to bring in this unit. We should be able to do okay. But wow, that was really disappointing. Perfect. We have captured the enemy's general. That will teach the cowardly dog to run. Now he can rest. Okay. Now then we just need to take down the infantry. What do we have? Archers, town militia. More town militia. Easy, easy. down For the moment the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. The enemy Praise the Almighty. Sweet. Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. All right, very good, very good. The day is ours, Lord. The enemy are beaten. Okay, now death is going to be a tricky one. Three units of cavalry, a lot of infantry. Okay, how are we going to do this? Got a lot of archers. Not a lot of fuel units. And then, travel infantry. Okay, let's fire on them.
Oh, you're gonna play like that, okay. So they're, they're gonna do their missile cavalry thing, which is very annoying. We're just gonna pull back. Uh, if you're gonna circle and shoot, that's gonna hurt. Okay, now they're charging. Okay, let's try and get an angle out here. Okay, we got a router. Very good, very good. Perfect. Our, our men have slain the enemy general. Now his men will lose heart. How are we going to approach this? Okay, they're broken. So cavalry is very annoying. I think we got them there. Oh, these spearmen just okay. They broke. That's great. Okay, what else do we still need to get? Let's see if we can hit those archers. Have lost their leader. The yeah, seems that's to okay. be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Guys, clean this up fast. The enemy oh, perfect. The battle. Run down those worthless peasants. I do want to see if I can get the general to get a little bit more experience, just get him some more. He's still got one more at least big battle to fight. All of Christendom will be we tore them apart, We should probably start exterminating Victory. these outer provinces. I just don't want any more public order issues. This place is yours, my lord. Okay, Timbuktu. Okay, these two units of camels, which could prove a little ugly. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, it's kind of sandy out here. All right, we got a lot of uh, spears here. Some peasant archers. We got some mounted sergeants.
camels in front here. Let's see if we can get some shots on them. Oh, stop now. Not the flammy arrow again. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Praise to our Lord. Great. Our men have slain the enemy general. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Okay, I think we've got two camels running. Flag on everyone before the camels regroup. Praise Perfect. Our enemy has now let's go ahead. Uh, this guy, I want him to get a little more experience. Everyone else is done, but he's got to get to Arguin, and he's got one more battle ahead of him. I must exterminate that one. My noble lord, God has delivered us this victory. All right, Bucharest. Be ready to give all for God and kingdom men. To This one's going to be a little bit iffy just because our troops are so bad. <laughs> I think we can get them to run their cavalry and their third general out here. I think their general's in the cavalry. I'll just put the sandwich on them. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Is this guy, yeah, that's the general. Okay, so hopefully he comes all the way uh, here. Can we get a charge on him? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Praise to Excellent. our Lord. Our men have slain the enemy general. Now his men will lose heart. Okay. Now it's just a standard. Does he have another unit of cavalry? I thought he had another unit of cavalry. No? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that makes things easier. Where are you? For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. The enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless peasants. Uh, these guys probably have one more battle, so I'm going to try and get them some more XP. All of Christendom will. 
Blessed Lord, we thank you for delivering us. Our courage has prevailed. These lands are yours, my lord. Alright, this one will be interesting. We don't have any cavalry. The troops are assembled. Prepare for battle. But neither do they. So, there you go. Oh, let's go around that way. Oh, hello. This is very interesting. Where are they? Oh, I was kind of hoping they'd be up there, but they're going to come in down here, I guess. Okay. Either way, we still got some height, and um, they're going to have to run a long ways to get here, so. As long as they don't get stuck, that would not be much fun. Looks like they'll all make it. Battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Oh, come on, guys, get up. Okay, that unit's routing. Catch them at some point. Our army is tiring. Okay, at least can we cut this guy off? is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Praise the okay, Almighty. great. Our enemy, all of Christendom, will be... The day is ours, Lord. The enemy are beaten. Noble Lord, we have conquered. This one will be... Oof, cakewalk, okay. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. So here we 
ridiculously easy. Especially these new male knights we got from Hamburg. Battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. The enemy general has no honor. The enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless peasants. This is a clip. A most honorable victory, my noble lord. God be praised for blessing us with victory. All right, and this is a good old fashioned run to the edge of the map. Foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. We got a Stonehenge. Oof, that hurt. This may actually not be good enough, huh? It's a hazard of doing this with heavy cavalry. I don't know if I've done that before. Can be good enough. Excellent. Our men have taken control of the castle. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Fate has been kind. The day is ours, Lord. The enemy are beaten. Noble Lord. Okay, this is the one that we should have had a general for. That makes me nervous. But, oh jeez, they've got four units of cavalry, but thankfully the Egyptians have already taken a pass at them, so should be a little bit easier. Than it would be otherwise. All our people's hopes are with you, men. To battle. All right. 
let's see if we can use this little... Oh, come on, don't fight. Get out of there. Move it. Let's see if we can get all our archers up on here. Guys, move. Stop playing around. Okay. Let's see if we can pack everyone in up here. Okay. Let's see what we got. Some light cavalry. I think that might be the general unit, we'll see. The enemy general yeah, has no honor. It's that one of 17. The field of and his men. Okay, let's switch here. Glorious Perfect. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well. Give the dog some wine, and be sure he can see us defeat the rest of his army. I pray the course of this battle changes, no, because no, no, defeat you're about. seems almost certain. Oh, bad, bad charge. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's, the battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Oh, lost the sound. Keep hitting something that's perfect timing. Them. It's annoying. The enemy are badly blooded. 
They have lost half their men. We're in a good spot, we're in a good spot. Actually, you gotta stay on them. Come on, get them. Wow, that's annoying. Okay, so it's really just these guys. Our men have fought long. Are becoming tired. Okay, they're routing now, finally. Anything not routing over here? Okay, let's uh, send you over here. What's happening right here? Okay, they're coming back. Let's finish those off. Sweet. This is a clear victory. I think capturing Jerusalem gives us a public order bonus across the map, which is very nice. We have conquered. Easy. Be ready to give all for God and kingdom men to battle. Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in these battles. That's okay if he takes a few shots. <clears throat> Control of the city. Oof. God save us. The enemy have your nice. walls. Fate has been kind. Blessed Lord, we thank you for delivering us. B 
God has delivered us this victory. God will help the faithful prevail. We attack! All right, let's see if we can get around to this. I think it's just infantry, isn't it? Yeah. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. So we got the uh, general right here. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Man, they got obliterated. Did he not die? Where is he? Oh, he was out of the back there for some reason. Interesting. He wasn't with his unit. Unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. The enemy are badly blooded, they have lost half their men. Come on, man. Hit that guy. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be really? ours. Can't route one unit of archers. The enemy there we go. Granted his faithful this victory. Our courage. Right, I think this is the last one we got. Yours, my lord. Which means we need to save after battle. All our people's hopes are with you, men. To battle. All right, this guy is going to die, <laughs> but that's okay. This is not a super difficult battle. Tidings does victory emerge. Yeah, good luck. is no way for a true son of God to behave. Our general runs before the enemy, leaving his troops behind. Our much valiant general has been captured. Unless we defeat our foes quickly, his fate is in the hands of the enemy. 
Alright, let's... Praise to our Lord! Great. Our men have... The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Let's mop up these infantry and be done here. Oh, that's annoying. They're going to come back. All of Christendom. The day is ours, Lords. The enemy are beaten. All right. This is the beginning. Turn six, just in case we don't get the um, adoption candidate. Yeah, we didn't. Okay, but we'll come back to that. Uh, nope, on the Explorers Guild. Yep, surprise, surprise. Let's run through these. Eh, we'll see about them. Not really important anymore. Yeah, they're good. 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 Yep, should be good there. Good news is it looks like Lisbon's rebel garrison is not um, all that strong. Yeah, you're in trouble. Yeah, you guys are probably done. Probably done. You'll be okay. Yeah, but okay. All right. Well, that is the end of the end turn. I'm gonna go back. I do do probably want an adoption candidate, so I'll try and refresh a little bit for that. But as it stands, we're sitting in 84 regions. We've got uh, two more under siege: Smolensk and Lisbon. Um, that means after we get there, we'll just have uh, 20 more to go. And we have two full turns in order to do that. Um, and so we are looking to be in a pretty good position. Okay, we have managed to get an adoption candidate. He is benefactor is Bernardo. Don't need that. Okay, Bernardo is here. So I have to put him on a boat for a second. And we're going to change the capital to Alexandria. He's going to go there. Alright, and then we've got Smolensk. Should be pretty easy here. I always like to send two rams up in case one of them gets caught on fire. The battering ram is in place. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. The battering ram has done its work. Now is the time for brave hearts and brave deeds. Grace to God, we have captured the enemy's walls. Yeah, that's about right.
God protect us. Oh Our shoot. General lies slain upon the battlefield. That's not great. Battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. We are blessed. Good, okay. The enemy general is dead. We have sent the idiot to hell. Yeah, not ideal, but as long as we can still win the battle, I don't really care because it's the last thing that they needed to do. Only half the enemy force remains. Excellent. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won. All right. The day is ours, Lord. Sack that. It's okay. And then, because that was the mission, we got four units of knights hospitaller here. Now we're going to actually go ahead and start the siege on Cairo. I'm going to leave one because Alexandria has some dreadful public order issues. Um, and there's also an Egyptian army right there. Uh, frustratingly, I think that it means we'll only be able to get one ram, really. Um, and also, I'm, I'm noted, I know that this is not a crusading army. We're going to bring in some more troops to back him up right now. We just, we just can't uh, get him an actual crusading army just yet. Okay, we're going to form this whole army back up together. Um... Okay, so they're gonna be able to get almost all the way there. General can get that far. Recruit here, which is good. We're not actually able to recruit anything in Jerusalem, which is not not ideal or accurate for that matter. Or Damascus. Um, Aleppo, we can. We can get some peasants. Okay, Edessa. Let's quick save here. Form up the whole army. No cavalry to help with the movement, so we're just going to go stand right here outside of Mosul. And then make her recruit some additional reinforcements. They're going to go to Baghdad the final turn. Um. Tbilisi can recruit peasants. Yerevan can recruit a priest. That's great. All right, these guys. One of them is going to stand here. The other two will go right there, and then I'll get a sally out. So cool. So you get peasants. Um, for Bulgar, we need to use this guy. He's going to go there. Actually, did we... Let's see. This guy's going to go here. At Trebizond. I thought the two were going to stand right there. At Sarkul, we're going to recruit peasants. For this army. To take down Bulgar. This guy's going to stand here. And the rest of the army's going to go there. Alright. Now, this guy. Step forward. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave those pilgrims there. Otherwise, we're going to have some public order issues. Uh, let's build a watchtower so we can see where we're going. 
The general's going to stand there. The rest of the army's going to stand there. Alright. Now, this is where we ran into a little of a hang up. Uh, the general right here will not get a sally out from my assy. So, what we're going to have to do instead <clears throat> is have this guy <clears throat> um, recruit this unit of horse archers. And send him instead. And there's nowhere for this guy to come as a come in as a reinforcement. So um, he's just gonna stand there and be useless. Uh, this guy is I'm gonna resort itself. And there, general comes into Kiev right here. Alright. <clears throat> We're gonna grab those while we can. Um, you stand there. That works, that works. The rest of the group right there. At Krakow. <clears throat> oh, right, we actually can't do that. So we'll send all of you guys there. Right here. <clears throat> Send this guy to do the siege. Rest of the army right there. At Krakow, we're going to reform the army. Send everyone to stand there. You're going to go here. Yeah, that's going to be easy. Shall we attack the walls then, my lord? Oh man, I'd like to recruit there if we can. Oh well. Um. <clears throat> okay. Uh. At Arhus, pick everyone off the boats. Trigger unlimited movement. Okay, and then everyone except for this unit of Crusader Knights. Actually, we're going to start with just the Crusader Knights. They're going to get on the boats. And they're going to go take on Oslo, which is all infantry. So that's an easy one. Um, and then here... Everyone's gonna go stand there. You gotta move out of the way. And then we're gonna go right there. Leave the crusade. And this is interesting, I've tested this out. He will sally out even with general on general because mine is depleted somewhat. Over at Lisbon, this one's pretty simple. We're just going to join everyone up. Join the Crusade. And then make sure we're... Um, I guess we can only afford a ram on this, huh? So we're going to do that. That's Lisbon. At Valencia, we're going to first... Oh, uh, wait. At Valencia, we're going to drop these guys off here, recruit another boat, get back on the boat, trigger unlimited movement, 
God's blessing and yours, we march to battle. And then... I think this guy can... But we don't need to do that. Alright, we're just going to put that guy there. He's going to be siege. This guy's going to be right here. Unlimited boats are going to stand here for just a second. We're going to get this big army out of Pamplona. I think I may have messed that up. And this guy's gonna stand here. Start the attack. He's gonna stand there. Of course, my lord. Your orders, noble one. Your orders, noble and this guy's gonna stand yes. here. Your orders, noble orders. Siege the settlement. Your orders, He's gonna one. stand there. Yes. Okay, unlimited boats go over here. Yes, Alright. Yes. This guy's gonna go stand right here. Yes. This whole army of Pamplona is gonna form up. Orders. However, I believe only the horses can actually make the boat. Yes. Yeah. Orders. So do that. <clears throat> and then he's going to come all the way over here to Rome. And then this army is going to form up. He's actually going to be able to land. More unlimited movement. But we can't attack Rome this turn yet because that would destroy the crusade. So we're going to have to wait till next turn for that one. Um, so instead, we'll take our, one of our unlimited boats. Get all these guys on board. And get them as close as we can so they'll be able to join up next turn. Although, I, yeah, they, they may just disappear now that I think about it. Oh well. It's okay. We're, we're not really going to need them. <clears throat> uh, right here. Yes, my lord. Let's get everyone off. Refresh the crusade. Um, and then we're going to put the general here. Rest the army. Oh, no, ah, that works. Right there. Alright. Um, what's next? What's next? Um... Do some housekeeping. Maracas can finally recruit some troops. Um, Cordoba is going to struggle a little bit. But it's fortunately not riding for whatever reason. So we won't have trouble, real trouble to next turn. We'll recruit additional units at Granada. We'll send this guy towards there. Leon. We're going to drop the tax rate. Priest, why not? Um... You guys, go in there. Okay, Timbuktu. This guy's got a lot of motion, a lot of movement. He can go all the way out to here. This whole army is gonna form up, just for the sake of pushing back the date they'll desert. Um, so we'll move him all the way up here. And these guys are actually just going to stay here to garrison Timbuktu because they're not going to be able to make it all the way. Okay, this army is actually going to reform. I'm just going to grab all the troops we can. Bring over these unlimited boats. And we're going to take them all the way to Rome. So we're just kind of going over kill at Rome. Because we can. And there's a slight possibility that I may need to do a forced... Um, forced draw out. Where I push the Pope's army that's right there towards Rome. If that 
Garrison is just not willing to sally out for anything. I think I can get them to sally out. But there's a possibility we'll need to do that. Alright. Next stop is Iconium. Refresh. Um... You're gonna stand there. Yes, Lord. The rest of the army stands there. We march. At Antioch, um, we're going to send this guy. I'll have to take on Antioch by himself. Yes, it's just an infantry garrison. Yes, and then we're going to go yes, down here. Your orders, noble one. It's actually yes. at Iconium. Off the boat at once. Who do I face? Let me strike. I'm gonna step forward here. Yes. Horse are gonna go right there. As my lord will. We must name thy enemy. Everyone else will stand there. At Antioch, everyone's going to step off, we'll refresh. This horse guy is going to go take down Antioch by himself. It's just an infantry garrison. Everyone else is going to come back to Adana. And, um, we're going to be siege there. Everyone else is going to stand there. Okay, um, Dongola, we're going to reform this whole guy right here. Oops, that's okay. He goes as far as they can. He's going to catch up next turn. Um, okay, okay, I think we've got, so let's check every rebel settlement. These guys are on their way here. Way right there. Taken care of. Krakow's under siege. Arcus is under siege. Oslo is under siege. Vilna is under siege. Iassi is under siege. Kiev is under siege. Aha, we have not done this yet. So we're going to go here. Oh, that's right. We actually need to bring some troops from Braun. And these guys are going to form up here. Everyone's rejoining the crusade. Step forward. All the way there. And he'll catch up next turn. Um, then we got to go up here. And we're going to bring in these guys. Form up here. And he's going to walk ahead. Stand there. Hug them all along there. Alright, so let's check every Red Bull province. Argon is there. Lisbon's all set. They, do they have siege equipment? Yes, they do. Sort of. Valencia's under siege. Arhus, Oslo. Krakow, Vilnius, Kiev, Iasi, Ryzan, Bulgar, Adana, Antioch, Iconium. So that means on turn 7 we'll have Arguin, of will have to take Cairo, Dongola, Baghdad, and Rome. I think those are all the ones that we should have left by then. Alright, let's do some housekeeping. Let's run through the settlements. I think I might keep the 
uh, capital in Alexandria, to be honest, because I have it's gonna be easier to keep these Western European stuff under control, anyways. <clears throat> Most of them are not currently riding. Um, let's see, let's see. Milan, not solvable. I see it. It'll be okay. Dijon, that's a mess, but we can get you some some troops this time. Send both of you guys over there, and then we'll recruit some new ones for burn. Um, Antwerp and Bruges, they're just they're not good. Um, so let's see. Let's I'm gonna start sending troops up here. And okay, you can't recruit new ones there, that's okay. Um, we'll send those over from Mets, they'll get their next turn. So just as long as no one's riding for two turns. Um, there we go, shuffle those guys around. Um, Stetton should build one of those. Um, Magdeburg, recruit a couple of those. Cavalry, Prague, still can't recruit troops. What's up with that? Budapest should be able to recruit. Yeah, you did not be able to do anything. That's okay. Riga should be able to recruit now. <clears throat> yeah, that's going to be a tough one. Sarko. Oh, the peasants, good. Kaffa, uh, peasants. Okay, okay. Alright, well in this case, let's uh, just go through and <clears throat> spend the rest of this money here. There's really not a whole lot of point in doing so. A lot of these won't be complete. So the riding ones to watch out for. No, Alexander is fine. Tbilisi, Sarko, Aleppo, Damascus. Damascus is really the only one of these that matters because these guys are all recruiting troops. Marrakesh is recruiting troops, so it should be fine. Kafka's recruiting troops should be fine. Riga's recruiting troops should be fine. Dijon's good. Nicaea should be good. Yeah, okay. So really just Damascus, I think, is going to be the only one that's going to give us any trouble in the end turn, and nowhere near as much as the last turn. So, I think that should be it for turn six. So we will save here. Alright, I think we got Damascus cannot revolt. Just checking on the map, make sure no one of my armies have betrayed me or anything like that. Good there. Good there. Lots of rioting happening, that's to be expected. Good there. Good there. Alright, alright. And good there. 
Okay. We're going to save this as... Down Sultan Jalal. Men, bring our, people honor, glory, and our old blitzing friend. <clears throat> oh, this is interesting. Okay. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. It's gonna come from that way. Oh, okay. I don't know if we can get this to happen in time. Okay, we have our crossbowmen. Let's see, can we get them? Oh, you guys are very far behind. Okay. Who are they targeting? Just don't turn, please. Okay, that works. Actually, that's perfect. Okay. Enemy king is slain, a worthy enemy, but only See you, Jalal. Praise the Almighty. This is a clear. The day is ours, Lord. The enemy of. <laughs> okay, some more easy battle here. Battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Um, oh, they're here already, Jakes. Okay. Nope, get out of there. The enemy flees the battle. All of Christendom. Mercy. All too easy. Slightly harder. Man, we have a lot of crossbows. We're going to be able to use them. to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Let's see if we can set this up.
Okay, let's see how many of these guys we can drop. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Excellent. Slain by our brave soldiers. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. The enemy flees the battle. This is a clear. We tore them apart, my lord. Oh. All right, that's all the factions except for Egypt and the Papal States. On to Trebizond. Take up your positions, men. Take this day hour. Unit. Await my orders. Move, move. All right, so they got one unit of cavalry. Have three, so should be able to make pretty easy work of this. Come on, turn around. This could be rough if they don't engage. Ugh. <clears throat> there we go, okay. Alright. But, yeah, don't love that they're on top of us. Let's see if we can flank the spears. Very nice. Okay, routing. Let's hit the archers there. For the moment, the fortune of battle is nice. our way. Let's pray it remains as such. Only half the enemy force remains. And these guys are being annoying. The 
enemy flee. This is a clear... The day is ours, Lord. The enemy are beaten. Noble Lord, <coughs> have conquered. All right, Antioch. All our people's homes are with you, men. To battle. My lord, the tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. This one shouldn't be too hard because Antioch's such a big city. <clears throat> They're going to struggle to get all the way back in. Also, this is the end of the line for this unit, so I'm happy to let them take a few shots here in a second. Don't route. That's all we need. Wow. Okay, they got shredded. Lord, preserve us. We have lost half of our men. Um. Interesting. They didn't leave the gate open. Is that right? Where do they come from? Oh, they came from over here. Shoot. Our men have fought long and are becoming tired. My lord, our men have taken control of the city. I think we still got it. We'll see. <clears throat> if you're watching this, we did. Yeah, we got this. Fate has been kind. The day is ours, Lord. The enemy are beaten. <coughs> Noble Lord, we have conquered. All right, two units of horse archers, some infantry. We shall claim victory in God's name, men. To battle. Alright, we got plenty of cavalry here, so as long as they don't play hard to get. <clears throat> oh, come on, make it, make it, make it. Okay, we got the general unit. I think that's their captain right there. We should get him. Praise 
Great. Our lord, our men have slain the enemy general. Now he's... the battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Okay, both those units routing. <clears throat> See if we can route the infantry before they return. Oh, they came back. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. <clears throat> Like a pretty bad charge, guys. Battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. This is a clear Blessed Lord, we thank you for delivering us. God has delivered us this victory. All right, I ask you. appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. Yep. Command of the castle. God save us. The Got it. fate has been kind. Ours, Lord, the enemy are beaten. Noble Lord, we have conquered. Okay, three units of Lithuanian cavalry. That could be a little bit ugly.
lots of crossbowmen. See if we can get one shot in here. For the moment, very nice, very nice. Goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. to praise the day before sunset but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory oh didn't even bring you guys in okay the enemy general has no honor he flees the field of battle and abandons his men Keep the train moving, guys. Praise to Great. our Lord. Our men have slain the enemy general. Now his men will. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Half the enemy force remains. Praise the Almighty. This is a clear. The day is ours, Lord. The enemy are beaten. Noble Lord, we have conquered. All right. This is gonna be tricky. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shoot. Oh no. Oh man, okay. I pray the course of That's gonna be changes because not good. Seems almost certain. This is a very archer based. Okay, it looks like maybe he's escaping. Send these guys in to help. For the moment, Oof, the okay. Goes our way. Let's pray to All right, that's kind of miraculous that he escaped that. Unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Okay, we got one unit routing. Okay, 
who we got in front? Archer Militia. Sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. That was a rough charge. Got to get out of there. Where are you? Love to kill their general at some point. That's definitely making routing these guys a little harder. <clears throat> Only half the enemy force remains. Sweet. All right, that one was a little harder than others, I guess. A most honorable victory, my noble lord. God be praised for blessing us with victory. Okay, got two Armenian cavalrys, the archers. One unit of two units of archers, three units of archers. Um, For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Infantry Let's right here. Got two generals. Got some light cav over here. Okay, this is good. So they're gonna charge. Oh no, they're going for that general. No, that's not good. I want that. actually have all of you guys go after him Mr. General is not in one of these maybe
battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Okay, they're routing. Oh, that looked like a bad charge. General flees okay, looks like we got him there. Whoa, General, careful there. The enemy are badly bloody. Okay, they have lost. Who's not rounding those guys? The almighty all of Christendom will be all right. God has granted his faithful this victory. God has delivered us this victory. Nice. Okay, this one we do need to be a little bit more careful just because our unit's so small and they have a lot of troops. So we do not want to take any pot shots. Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in these battles. We may actually run into two corners just to be safe.
Okay. Go. Excellent. Our men have taken control of the castle. Has been All right. The day is ours, Lord. The enemy are beaten. Noble Lord, we have conquered. All right. All right. We have the mighty El Cid. Lots of cavalry. God will deliver us to victory. All right, what do we have here? Two units of crossbows, three units of infantry, we've got a good amount of heavy cavalry which is important because El Cid is not going to be easy, we got, well, not heavy cavalry, we got a lot of, not the sergeants here, but. Okay, oh, who's that? Is this... Oh, boy. My favorite unit. Missile Cavalry. Let's see if our crossbowmen can do anything to them. That looks good. More Missile Cavalry behind them. I'm happy to trade for the moment. If they're just going to stand there, I don't want to shoot the Cavalry, though, if we can avoid it. Let's see if we can move in. Okay, let's cut them off here. Who's behind them? Mailed knights, okay. guys are not going to route as quickly because El Cid is uh, has some serious chivalry. Lord protect us. Oh, uh, yikes. Slain upon the battlefield. That's not ideal. Okay, we got them routing, that's very good. Let's 
Let's move everything in on the general here. Would love to focus him down. Oh, good. That's a game changer. Now his men will lose heart. Oh my gosh, what the heck, guys? Can't be doing that. Really? He didn't die. He just ran? Okay, well, let's see if we can still make this happen. Let's get the infantry taken care of. I didn't realize the bodyguard was still there. That's really silly. Okay, let's, uh... Only half the enemy force remains. Okay, we still need them to route. Come on, guys. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's send you. Lord, preserve us. We have lost half of our men. Yeah. Okay, we're sending everyone back after this. They're routing now. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like some of them made it back to the town square. So that's not great. It's going to take a little longer. But I don't think there's anything big in there. Yeah, a couple of the small horse units. Who's out here? Oh, some mounted sergeants. Okay, all right. Actually, let's see if we can time this. Have them let us in the gate. <clears throat> oh, this is the open gate, anyways. Okay, all right. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours.
And this is painful. The gates. Ha <coughs> right. My lord, our men are in command of the castle. All right. The day is ours, Lord. The enemy are beaten. Noble Lord, we have conquered. One year of calf. Be ready to give all for God and kingdom men. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Okay, let's set you guys all up here. And he is barely cutting it close okay Have slain the, en the enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. Ah, they came back. That's annoying. Sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Praise the Almighty, all of Christendom. Blessed Lord, all right, got that one. God be praised for blessing us with victory. All right, two units of horse archers. This one's tricky just because I think I've only got the one unit of cavalry. And I also, this is another one where I'm going to have to get him out of there very fast. But at least I'm retreating away from the city this time, which should make it a little bit easier. The battle seems to be oh, shoot. In our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Come on, man. Get there. Yeah, it's okay if they pick a few off, but you cannot take an engagement. Okay, 
right, now turn around and hit him. Great. If they're going to charge into my Spearman, oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, good. It is unwise to the enemy general dreams like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. That was not super clean there. We got two units routing. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true, both the cavalry units are routing. Good. God has granted his faithful this victory. And I believe this is the last one of the turn. Two units of cavalry here as well. The troops are assembled. Prepare for battle. Units. Okay, get it out of there, guy. Oof, man, we have a we have a rabble, huh? Wow. I think these guys had a pretty hard time at Circle, if I recall correctly. Let's see if we can take out this general and make things easier on ourselves. Tired of missile cavalry. <laughs> the battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From okay. such tight, let's see if we can out these guys here. Very nice. Okay. Let's just see if we can get these last couple units of infantry going. Let's hope they don't turn around because that would be annoying. Keep them on them. Make sure they don't return. Okay. Oh, they returned. Okay. Let's turn around. Oh, 
one routing. Okay. Get out of there, man. Nope, stop. the day before sunset but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory yeah okay bro why are you moving so slowly whoa oh shoot get out of there <laughs> General yeah, shamed okay. us all. He flees battle while his soldiers still fight. Infamy will be his always. Only half the enemy force remains. Let's see if we can get a charge in the back of these guys. Nice. Okay, infantry. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and hold okay, everyone needs to target these horse archers. Okay. Okay, they're routing. Just this one unit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Fall of the day is All right, we're gonna save here. In the turn six. We have conquered. Okay, and we got an adoption candidate. I don't know if we'll need that, but it's nice to have for sure. Yep, okay. It's fine. I mean, really, all of these are fine because we're ending the crusade this turn. Um, sure, Pope will do that right before we kill Rome. Yep, 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 yep. We'll, we'll figure that all out. Yep, that uh, happened. <laughs> oh, we did get a new general in Bulgar. That's funny. Okay, well, sorry, buddy. Nothing for you to do. Okay, all right. So we are now sitting on 100 regions even. Six more to take on this turn and we'll do so before the clock strikes eight um so we will let me figure out just exactly the last couple moves we got to make and then we will be right back okay we're gonna try to accept this guy but he's going to not go through no matter what we do Wait for it. so let's jump right into turn seven and uh um, this is the second time that I'm doing this whole turn because this settlement right here, Baghdad, has given me a ton of trouble, um, in that it was supposed to sally out and it didn't, um, which was like the last thing after it went through the entire turn and end turn, which was really frustrating. Um, so as it stands right now, we have six regions left to go. Those are Lisbon, Rome, Arguin, Dongola, Cairo, 
and Baghdad. Three of those we'll get on this turn, and three of them we'll get on the end turn. So, here's what we're going to do. Uh, is instead of sending the general, we're going to send the mounted sergeants. And I believe that that's going to create a more consistent sally out. I have theories about why it sometimes sallied out for the dose, sometimes it didn't. I think it has to do with the amount of units that recover. I don't really know, but I just need to make sure that it definitely sallies out this time, and hopefully it will with that. Okay, so we're going to do all of our movement here. Um, we're going to move to Arguin. This guy's going to be able to stand there. This guy's going to be able to stand there. I'm going to recruit the Sudanese tribesmen to join him. Over at Dongola, these guys are all going to form up. I'm going to go over here. And then this guy is going to stand here. He'll trigger the draw. This guy's going to stand there. All right. Now, for Lisbon. Lisbon has been really tricky. This army is really, really badly depleted. I've tried fighting this on the, on the map a couple times with no success. So I'm actually going to auto-resolve. And that's going to be, I think, our best bet on this one. Might take a couple of tries. But it should work. And there we go. That's all we need. Just need an average victory. And then before we take on Cairo, we actually need to set up for our grand defeat of the Pope. And I'm uh, we've got a forced draw opportunity here. We just have to push the Pope back to the edge of the city. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually stand all of the cavalry in that spot right there. There's also cavalry in this boat. So we're going to have them... Actually, not sorry, not that general. Actually, sure, the general. Why not? I'm going to go right there. And then we're going to have all of the infantry stand right there. And we're also going to recruit these units while we can. Uh, then we're going to have this guy go stand right here. And he's going to be in charge of um, uh, sieging that settlement. We don't need him to do that just yet because first we got to take down Cairo. Uh, we're going to reform this group. They're all going to join up with him. And we will assault Cairo. Should be pretty easy. They don't have any archers. Okay, so let's get this started. They're not even going to put people in the towers, so that makes things really, really simple. The battering ram is in place. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. Okay, and then everyone through straight to the town square. Give grace to God. We have captured the enemy's walls. All of you go take down the Unwise to pray. The enemy king is got their general. Were the enemy, but no less a dead for that. We must press our praise the saints. Our men have taken control of the city. Let's have some of you guys go back for them. 
Only half the enemy force remains. There we go. Easy enough. And then with that, we trigger both the end of the Crusade and the end of Egypt. A lot of trait increase notices here. Don't even need to look at them, really. In fact, I'm destroyed Egypt. <clears throat> Successful Crusade. Okay, and now begins the downfall of the Pope. So, what we're going to do to get this started is we're going to besiege Rome. We're going to attack the Pope here. Now, this battle is just very annoying. Uh, the terrain is dreadful. Um, it's manageable. Well, the goal of this is to get um, not quite 85% um, killed so that they will withdraw to the um, to the edge of the edge of the city, edge of Rome, and then we can do a force draw out there. Um, what's going to take for a while is for my entire second army to make their way all the way up this hill. So the Pope starts up there. My guys start down there. So we're going to put this on 6x speed. We'll try and bring in our reinforcements. And they're going to be exhausted by the time they get up here. All right, so all right, so here's what we're gonna try and do. We're trying to get um, let's see how much space they're gonna give us. Okay, let's try and get the infantry to here. Try and get all the cavalry up on this side, and we get a little bit of a hill advantage. That's perfect right there. These guys are exhausted, but that's okay. Who's that?
Okay, so start moving towards them. We're gonna reshift a little bit to face the cavalry. Pull back, pull back. I really don't want cavalry running straight into the spearmen. This guy's not going to break their formation at all, or. Guys, back up. Now they're breaking their formations a little bit. Oh, shoot, we got some routers. That's not good. Oof, man, all of our infantry broke. That's not good. Oh, we got the Pope. Okay. By our brave soldiers. Attack while his men mourn them. The battle is in our favor. If we should make things a little bit easier. Hearted, victory will be ours. Okay, we're up to 69, 70. We need to get everyone to break before we get to 85, otherwise we have to release people, and I really don't want to stop chasing routers. Attack here. Seventy-five. Gotta get that unit to route. Come on, have a break. Eighty-one percent. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Come over here. Don't, don't chase them. Shoot, we're eighty-five. Okay, we're gonna have to release. That stinks. All routing. I think it's just that you know that's not. Okay, so we're gonna stop capturing people. Praise the Almighty. This is a okay. clear All right. So we'll take that. Pope's dead, I believe. I don't think we captured him. Baby, no. <sighs> that's a lot of guys to let go. So we're not going to do anything that Pope is dead thing yet. Okay, so it's just that that's left. Okay, we're going to let up on the siege here. Merge this all together. Merge them as well. And then we're going to go attack him. Your 
orders, Noble One. With God's blessing and yours. Okay, here we go. Rubertus Notarius. Gotta make sure everyone dies in this time. All right. Okay, I'm gonna face this way. I want to finish this whole army off before. Where is their general? Oh, he's back. Why is he back there? Hello. Um. Yeah, let's back out of there. Can't have that. Gotta make sure he doesn't leave the map. That's kind of nerve fracking. Yeah, we gotta surround him, make sure he doesn't leave the map. Is in our favor. Okay, now we get him. And wholehearted victory will be ours. Don't let him just get out of there. Oh, come on. You can't let him get away. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Praise to our Lord. Our men have slain the enemy general. Okay. Now his men will I'm not off. sure if you. I don't think he was routing because they didn't give me a message about that. Um, but that does. Oh, shoot. Uh, not nice to escape. But I think we can get the rest of everyone else. Um, just start resetting the infantry. See if we can get the angle on these guys. Very nice, very nice. Oh, hello. Okay, we're gonna need some backup for you. Okay, infantry go reset. Reset. Praise the Almighty. Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. Oh, shoot. They're withdrawing. We can't have that. Okay. Um, slow down, slow down. Okay. Okay, general goes down first, please. Move over to this side, cut off his escape.
enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Blessed. Great. The enemy general is dead. We have sent the idiot to hell. Praise the Almighty. Our All right, gotta clean up. Lost his stomach to fight. Stop the mill knights, please. Stop the mill mill knights. Oh shoot. My God, my God. Good. Okay, we got a lot of them. That should be enough. Oh, we got to... <laughs> very nice, very nice. Okay. Yeah, we did that. And we're executing there. Okay, now... We're going to take Rome. Very good, very good. But now... We have Frodrigus over here. We'll notice the Pope... Position is still vacant, and in the College of Cardinals, there's just two guys. Frodrigus, who's the Papal States guy, and my guy right here. I want my guy to become Pope. So we're going to use a tactic that I don't know if has ever been used in Blitzing. It's an exploit called Agent Squishing. A uh, very old exploit, but again, not usually necessary for Blitzing. Uh, but in this case, it is. So we're just going to fill up each of these spaces around Frodrigus so that he can no longer move. And then we're going to stand right there. And he falls over dead. Now he's dead. Enemy army routes. And then we quick save. Reload. And that triggers reconciliation. The papal election, where the only person present is mine. So I'm now reconciled. And we got the new pope, but the old pope standing out here. And I have Rome. So that's very, very good. All right. And now, because we've done all that, all of our most of our settlements have a lot of uh, big public order boosts. So even though our capital is Alexandria, most of these settlements are happy because what we're seeing is a glory bonus. And also a triumph bonus. I think the triumph uh, is from winning the crusade. And the glory is from having Jerusalem, if I recall correctly. So we're just going to do a quick check around the empire. Make sure everything is ship shape. We're going to put that guy in Cordoba. Cordoba is going to be fine. They're going to love me. Even Marrakesh, 105 plus 105% public order. Timbuktu, it'll be fine. It's not even riding. Uh, Constantinople, we do need to check in on. We'll drop the tax rate, recruit some troops. Um, where else, where else, where else, um, Moscow, we do want, it's at 70, so it should be fine, um, I wish some of those guys could get back, but they can't, that's okay, um, <laughs> everywhere else looks pretty good, um, yeah, so, no issues here, just checking through for writing. Oh, Rames, that's right. Okay, we do want to fix Rames. That's pretty simple. Just put him in there. Um, oh, there's settlements that are riding. Moscow's the only one that's really there. Okay, alrighty, so that should be it. And we're going to quick save and go to the end turn. Starting here with Baghdad, which was the troublemaker the first time I recorded this whole turn. couple units of Arab cavalry and then some cheap infantry. Okay, let's uh, range our archers. Kind of a little bit of a downhill I don't love, but that's okay. Uh, 
Shouldn't be a hard battle. Hopefully we can get their cavalry to come in first. Let's see, where are they coming? Okay, that one's the general. Very good, we got the good surround in here. Oh, stop firing. I'm just doing flaming arrows. Don't do that. The enemy general has no honor. I'm not going to get as many of them as we can. Okay, alright. Moving on. Let's get those infantry and finish this off. And forging a worthy victory. Oh, they're all there. I'll come back. Okay, great. We are Good. The enemy general General's down. Dead. That makes things easier. Okay. Uh, let's go get the infantry real fast before they get to the time, town, time square. Okay, gosh. Okay, routing, routing. Is in our favor. If we one to go, wholehearted victory will be ours. The enemy are badly blooded. Come on, Carl. Lost yeah. half their men. Praise the old done. All of Christendom. Okay, and we have Baghdad. The enemy are beaten. No, comes Arguin. Hardest settlement in the game to reach. We've got this one unit of camels that we gotta watch out for. Okay, let's get out of here. Now, if I recall correctly, camels actually don't perform as well in wilderness, which is what this is, as they do in the desert, like Timbuktu or um, Algiers or somewhere like that. So that's actually very, very good for us. So the goal here is to kind of, as usual, pincer them in. Looks like they're going to send everyone all at once, which is just not what I was hoping for. Let's see, we got the camels over here. So in that case, we'll have you take on the infantry by yourself, and then we'll send both um, the general and the infantry to take on the camels. Okay, let's push in. And then if we send you back in here, let's clean up, clean up, clean up, get those camels. Come on. Let's get some units routing, please. Let's go over to the archers. Be nice if they stop running away. Here at routing, very good. Two routing units. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. 
from such tidings does victory emerge. Praise to our oh, good. Lord. We got their captain. Our men have slain the enemy general. Now his men will lose heart. Okay, there's that last unit to go. As long as one of these guys doesn't turn around. Please don't turn around. Praise Great. Lord. All set. One more battle to go. And here we go. God be praised for blessing us with victory. Alright, and this one's sort of like the last one, except we got more troops to do it with, so. Alright, so, let's set up out here. Got some spearmen. Got some archers. Got some more infantry. Let's put them in that group of the spearmen. seems to be swinging in our favor from such tidings does victory emerge all right let's see if we can get everyone on those camels we are great blessed. the enemy general is dead we have set the, the battle is in our okay let's route the last of these guys <clears throat> victory last power. time That's it. This is a clear. We've done it. New medieval two blitz record, 106 regions by the end of turn seven. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's meant a lot to come back to this record. Um, and if anyone is up to the task of taking on trying to get turn six, I think it's impossible. But of course, there's always uh, always new bugs that can be found in games like this. So, uh, best of luck to anyone who tries to do it. I know the Diplomacy Overflow bug has ushered in a whole new era of more traditional speedrunning records, gunning for the fastest time in minutes rather than the fewest turns. But for me, this record with his long and exciting history is always going to be the definitive record for the game. If anyone wants to try and do it in six terms, be my guest. I would love to see that. I think it's impossible. I've tried a number of different tricks. Uh, but there's always new bugs being discovered, and I think that'd be really neat. But I think that this one is is will always sort of remain for me the flagship record because it requires mastery, not just of all the exploits and bugs, but requires mastery of the game mechanics. Just the, the fact that it requires you to understand the bugs and the features of the game is really, I think, just kind of neat. And why, even then, almost 10 years later, that why I wanted to come back and do this. Super grateful to Legend and all those who came before him blazing the trail of blitzing. It's been a badge of honor to contribute the two runs that I have to the leaderboards. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If some, if any of you watched, goodness, all 10 hours of this or whatever it was all the way through, cheers. <laughs> um, but if you're just coming, if you're skipping to, through to the end to see how it, how it came to a conclusion, thanks for watching, too. I appreciate you checking in. Now, this game is not, um, is definitely not the most popular thing to watch on YouTube these days, so... I truly appreciate any one of you who, who watched, and uh, thanks a lot. It's been my pleasure.